Well, one people, connoisseur here. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I'm here on the Shizio show, and um, yeah, we're gonna talk crap. We're gonna talk food, chicken to be precise, and um, I'm about until I'm not. Right, we back. We love this. Man called me early doors and said, be up at 11 o'clock. I'm coming. Listen, I hate to put him on blast, but it's quarter to two, isn't it? Yeah. I was up late last night, yeah. And I thought that extra hour of sleep is valuable to me. But anyway, mm. we woke up. The brother's a little bit late, but it's cool. We love that. We have one of the pioneers. When I mean the pioneers, trendsetter. And I don't say that lightly. You know what I'm saying? started this whole movement but we're going to get into it mr C is it cnsr it's just an abbreviation of the yeah. connoisseur of the chicken connoisseur how are yeah. you sir yeah i'm good man you good thank yeah. you for coming i really appreciate it you made it so, yeah so we love that yeah sorry about the lateness nice it's cool it's cool are we allowed to know your real name or is that yeah you could elijah it is elijah i knew yeah. it was elijah but yeah i like to you get me Fair mr enough. elijah thank you for coming bro cool, cool, cool. no i mean that bro you are one of a pioneer bro like you know what i mean trendsetter mm. originator of this chicken stuff you get yeah. me <laughs> we we love it um we we've been talking for a while and mm. i genuinely I really appreciate you know what i mean um cool coming from north london is that correct yeah is that born and bred yeah yeah mm -hmm. um one thing that people always ask me because i did ask if, i did tell a few people was 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 your age bro mm. a lot of people were like bro how old is this guy bro well it, it has been revealed already publicly oh it so, has so go yeah. on then i am a tricenarian a what a tricenarian what the fuck is that bro i'm in my 30s oh are you yeah wow okay fair enough early 30s yes okay when when you mean revealed was that something that you didn't want to re reveal because think... um for, for a long time i guess i was just kind of toying with it because if, if people don't know when they're guessing it's, it's just fun to keep people guessing absolutely so Man. yeah i just kind of let it run and then then when i was 30 i was like yeah i mean it it's not that much of a big deal yeah so no it's not yeah but I think with the package, I think the yeah. initial thing was this guy's just, he's a kid while he's doing this stuff. And I suppose yeah. to some extent you were young, weren't you? Yeah, I was young. You just wasn't as young as people Four hours. may have presumed. Yeah. All right, so let's just talk about your upbringing, if that's okay, sir. All right. Tottenham, growing up, how yeah. was it for you? Uh, It, it was casual overall. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty blessed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, school and stuff like that was all right. Yeah, yeah, it was casual. Man, this is just cash. Just, you know, <laughs> well, I'm going to need more than just cash. Um, How was you in school, bro? Uh, I guess I was I was just there to like have fun. and. Yeah. Was you a, na a naughty kid or just... Um, I guess so. Maybe not... Not in... In primary school, more so, yeah. Yeah. Because there were... I'm not even sure if I could say necessarily that there were less boundaries, but there's, there's kind of more you could get away with right. in primary school than secondary school where they're kind of on you, like there's uniform and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Like my primary school didn't have uniform. I know some do, but yeah. mine didn't. So yeah, um, yeah I, was, I was fairly mischievous and pushing the boundaries and whatnot in primary school. But, you, but you still kept the limit? Yeah, I didn't get like... Actually, I think I did get excluded one time for, but it was just for, I think I did get excluded for bunking school. The standard. One you time. Got to, you got to do that. Yeah. But um, aside from that, I think, yeah, I think I was all right in primary school. Yeah. 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 I didn't do anything too crazy. Yeah. And then secondary. From what I remember. Just... Secondary. Um, I think I was pretty cash there as well. Yeah. Didn't get into too much trouble. Yeah, did you used to study or was it, or was that not a thing for you? Um, not really, nah. I was just kind of there more so to have fun and 
if, if I'm in the class, I'll do the work and stuff. Mm. By the time I got to like my GCSEs, I already had accepted that what I know is what I know and I can't really cheat it on the last day and start studying or mm. whatever. I guess I was kind of just coping with if if I didn't pay attention in class, I don't deserve to get a higher grade than what I know. Them ones. So Matt, I just turned you, up to the You didn't exam. want to write the answers on your hand and do them ones. Oh, bro, no, oh, I, bro. I couldn't be bothered. I was like, let me, where am I actually? Okay. Am oh, I actually, because uh, I think I'm pretty sure it was um, after I saw, um, you know, the movie Catch Me If You Can? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So Frank Abignell. That's his name, you see? I know. Hold okay, on. fair enough. I, I I didn't even know that. I was just thinking Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, basically, I, I think by the time GCSEs rolled around, it, it it had already been instilled in my mind. Like, if I... At the end of the day, if I can blag my way to wherever I need to be, I can do that. So the certificate of the GCSE or getting an A or whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Can I sound like I have an A? If I can, then I can cut you. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Like, let me just go in there and get whatever grade I deserve. Because if I wasn't paying attention and I'm at F level when it comes to the questions, then it is what it is. But if not, it isn't. Yeah, but learning the art of blag is an art form in itself. No, it's true. But that's that. I feel like by that time, being aware of the art of blagging yeah. was I was already a step ahead of most people. Okay. And in, I was I was in doing, what the blagging. In the blagging. Give me some examples, but I need, um, to, I need to know. You get me? To be honest, I, I, I think I might have been like 13, 14 when I started, um, like when I was on YouTube and stuff, mm. I'll just get into random debates and arguments and trolling. Mm. And so from there, I had to learn the art of the blag to sound like I knew what I was talking about more than I did. Or if I did know what I was talking about, I had to kind of get that across. Mm. So I, I, I kind of... Um, got a lot of experience in that and to be fair I think I, I might have been like 14 or something or 15 and and when I realized I clocked it and I didn't need to um do too much is when I think I probably it might have been when I started copying homework and I realized the most effective way to copy homework is just get a thesaurus nice a thesaurus you know so the just like blag. yeah yeah exactly you just look up different words and, and find a unique way to say the same thing I and it sounds completely different i don't think the kids of today know what that even is bro if they got this chat their chat gtp shit, bro. well it's true it's, it's i guess it's an easier way of doing that it's effectively mad, yeah it? yeah so um yeah i was i got handy with a thesaurus from early yeah um so when it did come to copying homework i was doing a good job yeah and then um you know i was doing my trolling late nights on YouTube, um, getting into debates about all kinds of stuff. Like Is Alex... this like videos on YouTube? That you're... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like just in the comment section, like, you know, Alex Jones and... and... Info Wars. Yeah, all, all of that type oh, of so stuff. Oh, so you used to get in the comments a lot. You're not actually making videos at this point. You're yeah, just, yeah, no. Nah. just commenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was looking at it, I'm thinking, right, what's going on? Rah, rah, rah. Like, I guess in, in that sense, I was red-pilled pretty early because I don't think anyone... It, it was a thing, like, people did talk about the Illuminati vaguely. Yes, sometimes, yeah, definitely. But not too much, but I was looking into it pretty deeply. So, okay. yeah. Is there a reason for that? Or you just you just found it interesting? It, it is just interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think even now, that you kind of have to... I don't know, it's, it's interesting. I think everyone is slightly interested in it, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's like how... You know, it's, it's not really... It's not that's not useful information, but there's not much you can do with it a lot of the time. It's kind of above and beyond. But it's kind of useful to kind of have that have that idea of that could be a thing. This conspiracy theory thing is mm. not because it used to be a conspiracy theory back in the yeah. day. It was like for people that were just nutty or it's not apparent. Whereas yeah. I think now it's actually not. It's not like that. Yeah, there's, there's much I more of a statement to be like this shit could be happening and it probably is yeah know? true because the thing is it's not that like there wasn't necessarily evidence before but i think now a lot of people have kind of woken up to it mm. a lot more than before in general so um yeah so talking about those <laughs> kind of conspiracy theories how was your covid period bro <laughs> um well again this this is where a lot of these things were kind of mentioned time ago yeah. and like patterns are pretty evident so them times 
I knew if the funny thing is I f- I'm pretty sure I had it yeah but I had it in like December mm. so at this point I think in December as well there was like um it did kind of break out in the news mm. that I remember I remember seeing because I don't watch the news but my mum does so I remember she was watching BBC one time and there was like some guy from the I now knowing it was the Institute of Virology right in Wuhan and he was saying yeah something broke out re te te. a week later he's dead but um <laughs> how did he die fam actually, well that that one we don't accident, know accident innit yeah, yeah allegedly I'm, I'm, yeah allegedly so um I see this is going on at the same time I have well I'm sick so I got like what I think is like a flu or a cold nobody else in my family has it and I'm thinking this doesn't make sense because I don't even get sick really okay but it was it was pretty bad I remember losing my sense of smell mm. and I was thinking right I can't even taste food like what's how long the is this gonna last for the chicken connoisseur can't taste food yeah, bro yeah, that's exactly. a headline yeah. if ever there was one bro so um, at this point I think it went all the way up because it was I think it was early December yeah um, but yeah it went all the way up until it might have even been the new year because mm. I remember at Christmas eating food and thinking like well what like I, I'm not at the time, I was thinking now might be the best time to get on a diet because I can't taste anything. Mm-hmm. So if I'm just eating bare broccoli and chicken and something dry, mm. it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I didn't get round to it anyway. Okay, but um, yeah. So okay, I'm 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 getting a bit too much into detail. Yeah, Overall, so, in yeah. general, I say the COVID period. I was I was I had a, I had a hunch something was going on, and I remember the first day of lockdown. I when went, you mean something going on, do you mean like? Uh, you can tell when they're gassing stuff up in the media. Yeah. And it got to a point. I remember, like, they were saying, "Oh, you know, everyone stay inside. Everyone do this." That. And I was just seeing that there was so much compliance. It was. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It was. It was just. It was wild. It was wild. It was. It was wild. There was. There was too much compliance. Because mm. I remember thinking, like. Again, the first day of lockdown, because even the fact that they said, yeah, we're doing a lockdown, everyone stay inside, um, this virus is going to ret it. And I was just thinking, surely not. It's not that mad. Like, so far, that they were saying, you know, the numbers of people who are getting it and on oh, Italy, bare old people are dying. And I'm thinking, old people die anyway and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I was looking up articles and stuff as well, reading alongside it and whatnot. But, um, yeah, by the time lockdown rolled around, I remember going outside and... It, it was pretty empty. There were not many people yeah. outside. But I remember thinking it would... If I was in charge of the country and it looked like this, it's like, you know, when they're building new estates yeah. and they show pictures of what it's going to be like. Yeah. They show people walking their dogs, yeah, yeah. someone jogging. That's it. Yeah. There's no one just chilling. Yeah, Every, everyone's kind of doing something mm. type of thing. And that's kind of what it looked like. And it was super empty. Roads empty. You could jump on a bus and be have the bus to yourself i remember like i got on the the central line and it was yeah it was it didn't look like the central line it ghost was, town ghost town exactly then you could feel the wind the air was it smelled somewhat fresh yeah yeah, yeah. as opposed to stinking the meal yeah, yeah but yeah. um yeah yeah it was, it was crazy i can't lie it was it was a good time yeah it did, was peaceful did you enjoy it a lot i loved it bro <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just leave me alone, bro. It, uh, it, Give it me was, that furlough money, baby. Yeah, it's, uh, I can't lie. It was, it was, it was. Yeah, one of the best times of, yeah, of my life. I can't That's lie. The best time of my life. Bro. <laughs> like it's, it's like imagine having the whole city to yourself. You can, it, it, if there was like a zombie apocalypse and it, mostly everyone's dead, you can mm. go anywhere you want. You can walk in the roads. You can. It it was it was yeah. it was pretty blissful. No, I hear you. Yeah. Um, can, can I just touch on your fat? You're like fa- you're like family life. You got okay. Have you got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got uh four brothers. Okay, older yeah. or younger? Older. Oh, they they were older. Yeah. How was that for you then having older um, brothers and? Uh, it was. I guess it was it was cash. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was blessed. I I survived. They said I survived. You know, <laughs> Tottenham. You know, I survived. <laughs> Fair enough. So then, um, okay, so when does this YouTube kind of inclination, this um, seed start to form? I'd say probably, i say that the seed will have started to form maybe like 2015, like watching Five Pound Munch. 
Oh, Lodi. Yeah. Oh, come on, big up Lodi. Yeah, yeah. Big nasty, bro. Yeah. That's my okay. Very interesting. That's yeah, amazing. It, okay. So, so if, five pound much was out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was okay. out definitely lo- a lot longer than uh, me. Grime report, wasn't it? Grime report. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So you see that show. For anyone that doesn't know, people get five pound. They go into a sweet shop and they gotta just spend it. It's called five pound munch. Very very simple. Yeah. Very very simple for me. A five pound. Yeah. You gotta spend it. Whatever you spend, that's what you spend. Okay. So yeah. Used to watch that. Yeah. Yeah. I think when when I deep it now, I didn't. It was only recently I kind of thought about it and I clocked like I'm pretty sure the episode with PAP was right. that that was kind of the one that probably would have made the most impact right why because why? like they they it was a cheat code effectively so instead of just going and buying food for five pound because there was i think there was like four four or five of them right and they're thinking five pound what are we gonna do yeah they got a scratch card oh is that what they did bro i've always thought about doing that <laughs> it's still my idea bro i swear to god so, i've never saw that episode yeah yeah it, it right, was, they, i think that was probably one of the best episodes would they get a scratch card yeah so they got a scratch card i think they won I'm not sure if it was ten pound or like fifteen pound. Then they went to the chicken shop next door. Okay. And then I was, I was yeah, it, it was it was a sick episode. Watch the episode, people. Okay, Watch so the then that uh, inspires you. That's mental. Yeah, not directly, but that but, was probably stored in my brain. Right. Of like going to the chicken shop and okay. it's it's cheap. Okay. Type of thing, but also um, there was a couple instances of like one where like I needed to go to get food with my brethren and we found restaurants and on google like the restaurants like there was an indian one and an italian one and they had reviews but then we found a chicken shop it had no reviews but i know a chicken shop in the ends everyone's going there but the type of people who go to chicken shops don't review chicken shops so mm. there's going to be no reviews and i was thinking why isn't there reviews i should do reviews i might as well do it but then i was thinking instead of me just typing like that's dead i might as well film it but there is a thought process to that, isn't it? You've 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 done your analytical research, haven't you, to like some degree? It's not yeah. just your raggo out there. You've actually thought, hold on, th- this is a market that I could. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense, or was yeah, that not what you were thinking? Yeah, to an extent, but it's like it kind of all just everything kind of fell into place mm. more than I made a concerted effort to. By the time I knew, or by the time it came to my brain, like, oh, I should do chicken shop reviews. Because there's bare of them, everyone goes there, and no one's doing that type of content. Um, I guess all the other stuff just kind of came into it anyway. What do you mean by other stuff? Sorry. Um, like let's say with the trainers. Yeah, the the crepes. I'm definitely coming yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crepes is gonna it's gonna go <laughs> off in this motherfucker soon, bro. But yeah, yeah. Um, so that came afterwards because I was thinking like, what could I do to if I'm gonna make content, I don't want it to just be. Well, I definitely don't want it to be dry, but I don't yeah. want it to be too one-dimensional. So I was thinking, how can I add other facets of culture into it that I would like to permeate throughout the ages? Let, let's just go there with the trainers then. It's, yeah. um, so you love trainers. Yeah. You, that's not forced. Yeah, when, nah. So the love for trainers come before the YouTube, obviously, I'm presuming. Yeah. You've always loved them. Is there a reason? You know what it is? It's like, I remember... From when I was a kid, obviously my trainers were dead. So I was Bruck. Well, my family was Bruck. Mm. And well, by extension, I too was. Um, I got the dead trainers. I, oh. Did you get the hand me downs? Because you got it, four of the brothers. Nah, it, it wasn't even hand me downs. I would get fresh, new shoe zone, shoe fair. Shoe zone, man. Specials. Shoe zone. That, that's what it was. Dorsten right. Market, shoe zone. I didn't even get to pick them out. They just appear one day and it's like, this is you for the next year or two or right. until you grow out of it yeah so um but my brethren's always had nice trainers and i would always see them and i'd take note of them and In, yeah i didn't have p until because i guess because of that i was always cheap because whenever i did get money eventually i would save it thinking i could save up to get some nice crap but that but that's not cheap in a way that's you trying to just maximize your your money to buy what you want okay it's true but at the same time you have to make sacrifices in other yeah areas. I, I guess i was more comfortable not getting 
or not spending too much. Right, because you wanted trainers. Trainers was at the top of your list. Yeah, but at the same time, I didn't really get that many. Right. So, okay, I'm going to put it. Um, it's hard to say. I, I guess I was just used to being broke. So I was like, let me stay broke until I could spend. Or you know what? I guess it might have just been because I was told that's, that's too expensive. I just kind of instilled that most trainers were too expensive. Right. But you know, you say you was broke. Did that? Was that throughout your household? In like, a, or was that just to a certain level? In, in reality, not 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 necessarily. There was, it's just you, there was always stuff with your clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm, I'm saying broke. I no, but I understand. Yeah, That's yeah. It's for just the people too. Th there were no There's luxuries. Levels of broke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There was no luxuries. Yeah, you still got a roof over. You know what I mean? Yeah, Thank I always I always and... had trainers. Always had clothes. Always had food and whatnot. Um, my household was making too much to get free school meals. Right. Okay. Well, I wasn't making enough for me to be getting like my parents wouldn't give me pocket money anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type yeah, of thing. Yeah. I think I did get one pound. Oh, I think I did get like one pound a day when I got to secondary school. But hey, bro, it lasts, you know. It's it's true. Back then, you know, Space Invaders. Come um, on, little five p Tom Tom Freddo. Yeah, yeah. Freddo's five all, all p. Of that. Now, you, you you could survive with that. Now motherfucker twenty five, bro. Yeah. What's I, happening? You, you remember the wham bars? Wham bars. Come on. They were ten p. Chew it. This is the thing. The other day. I saw it was 75p no in co-op. Way. 75 no for, way. For a, a 10p wamba and it's looking skinnier than it You know it back used in the day would say it on the rapper 10p yeah. so it's like no one could charge you 11p. Uh -huh. It's there's 10. Bro. It's true yeah they switched that up quickly and they made it smaller as well so Space space faders bro. Yeah. What pickled onion? No no. What? No nah, I, I would oh, usually on, do the bro. beef. Usually do the beef. The one, bro. I don't know it's an acquired taste. It was a bit too acidic for my palate at the yeah, time. For my palate, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I hear yeah, that. Yeah, but so, um, yeah, but go on back uh, back to trading. So you're trainers, saving yeah. up money. Yeah. Are you working at this pump moment? You just whatever you're getting. No. no. Um, so then, how okay, are you well, making? Yeah. Well, at what point? When I was. Well, you're saying you're you're saving up for trainers. You you like trainers. You're getting the shoe yeah. zone trainers. So you're saying you're putting money aside. <laughs> no, no. Okay, you got shoe yeah. zone. They are not a sponsor. Yeah, There's yeah. Other <laughs> shoe shops are available. Yeah, but okay. So basically. To be fair, it's like, in my head, it was because um, my mum would always say, like, I could get you a pair of trainers for, like, £20. Mm. I'm not getting you, like, £90 trainers. So because of that, my brain was thinking, £90 is too much type of thing. Sorry Even when I got 90 Where are your parents from? Sorry. Ghana. Ghana. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So even when I got 90 I was thinking 90 is too much. I can't spend 90 So I would go and buy something dead from somewhere for like 35 and right. I, I might end up getting like three pairs right, right, as right. opposed to getting right. the pairs that in hindsight I know I definitely would have wanted yeah but, but you wanted it to stretch you wanted like three pairs is better than one exactly you know, like. that, that's what I mean in terms of like my mindset was kind of cheap I guess it still is to an extent because sometimes if boss man's charging like 25p for source I end up I got. I can afford it, but I won't get the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Some things are instilled in my brain like that. just psychologically instilled from yeah. having not much from back in the day. I don't think that's cheap in a way. I just. It's, yeah, it's, it's true. Money. It's just money management, I guess. Yeah. But way. but the thing is, at the same time, it's like if the same second, if I see something on eBay for, I don't know, if I see the right pair for a bag, I'm spending it. Oh, for real. Yeah. Okay. But at the same time, I will not pay. 25p for the sauce but would you wear that pair because i yeah. have a real issue bro yeah yeah yeah. i've got pairs the, but it's like there's just and for me it's it's like it's the occasion like special <laughs> special <laughs> pairs they need they so need this the is occasion the thing, bro so you're bang on the money sorry yeah. to interrupt again yeah, yeah, yeah. but i buy pairs and i think do you know what i'm gonna wear that to somewhere yeah. real special yeah somewhere uh -huh. real special never comes yeah uh, uh, and it just extent. sits there to the point where now nah, that trainer's worth a thousand or whatever, and I think, mm. bro, if I wear that, I've half I've half the value, bro. You know what? For me, it's not even about the value. I would wear it every day if I was in the right place, because I feel like a lot of the pairs I get that I don't wear, it's about places. Yeah. Like I got like you know the Air Max ninety five Miami Vice. No, it's, I know. It's got the right. Tongue. It, it it's you know what? I got a picture on my phone. I'll right. show you after. But unless I'm in Miami, I feel like I shouldn't be wearing it. That way you can rep Miami on the streets of Tottenham, bro. <laughs> you get me? In the rain. It, it, it's true. I Forget guess I can. Get the Miami heat, bro. London rain. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've got I've got pairs and I'm yeah. like, bro, I, I don't know. But I've yeah. really 
become a sneak ahead if you want to yeah. call it. Yeah, I, I think for me, it was probably around 2014, 2015, where I kind of got into it a lot. And I, I was watching a lot of the content as well mm. of like the American uh, shoe tubers, they right. call themselves. Yeah. But, um, but this is pre kind of sneaker boom, innit? When you, so you, so yeah. you were early doors. I have to read Some, that. Somewhat, yeah, yeah. But it's like... Well, I guess it is what it is. I, I did kind of catch on 2014, 2015-ish. So what was your first big pair that you thought? The first one... Because the thing is, <laughs> it's funny, actually. I remember I was trying to get a job in Foot Asylum. Um, I think it was 2014. Yeah. And these times, I think I had like two decent pairs in my collection right in hindsight i think i, I probably it was one it was decent one. pair <laughs> but this is the thing i remember i went into the interview and then the guy's like oh why do you want to work here i'm like like you know i'm really into trainers like i'm, I'm i want to build like a good collection and whatnot he's like how much you have in your collection i'm like i've got two at the moment but you know like but we're building yeah yeah we're building and i'm, I'm not sure what he was thinking but he must have looked ridiculous but um yeah, it, the, the addiction started from there, to be fair. and I, I, So what was your first kind of pair that you... Um, it was the Air Hirachi Light in the curry colourway. Dark curry. No man knows it, bro. Air yeah. Hirachi. So Hirachis, yeah? I've never banged Hirachis, but, you but know. But this is the thing. It's, it, not all Hirachis are, are the same yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. That Hirachi... The funny thing about that Hirachi as well is that I had... Did I get... I think I got... Uh, it, it, it's crazy. It's just the second wave of Harashi because they came out back in the day, in it, and then they and then they died for a long time. Yeah, but the thing is, there's there's different kinds of Harachi. It's not every Harachi. Yeah. The Harachi you're thinking of is probably not the Harachi yeah. that I have. Yeah, right, right. Um, right, right. The Air Harachi Light. It was it originally dropped in 1993. Yeah. So later on, I kind of had more of an affinity to it because it was like my year. But um, yeah. So funnily enough, I remember I copped a T-shirt, uh, a polo, on. The twenty second of December, twenty fourteen. Man knows the date, bro, the, the, of copage. But the, listen, there's date a reason why. Copy, go on. <laughs> so, I had it, but it looked like it was gold. Like I wore it in a couple episodes, actually. I wore it when I went to Wembley, mm. and then I wore it in another episode later on. Mm. But um, basically, it's striped. It looks like um, you remember when it, there was that that whole debacle about that white and gold dress oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's, it, it's striped kind of like that right but so we're saying it changes colours depending on who can see it it might do for some people okay, for yeah. me it's just white and gold yeah. but basically it's, it's not the type of thing you can wear with anything and in my head I'm thinking I can't wear this with like some black crepe like the crepe need to match it so when I found that crepe and I bought it I checked the date and the date of production when it left the factory was the 22nd of December 2014. So the same day I bought the polo, the same day it left the factory. Destiny. It was. Destiny. So yeah, it was, it was a special crap. This has gone down some sneaker route because I have a sneaker <laughs> and I'm like, fuck the chicken, bro. I'm talking about sneakers, bro, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what are your three pairs of your holy grail like, that, you, that you don't have? That we'll I don't talk have? About that in a bit. Okay, um, that I don't have, I have to say the Air Max 95 Goliath. <sighs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a... It's a serious pair. It's a serious yeah. pair. I feel like the it's kind of a blend between the Godzilla and the the evolution. Right. The, I'm not sure if it's, if they call it evol no, it's not evolution of air. It's just the evolution pack. Mm. Yeah, from like I think it was 2006. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's kind of a mesh between those two in a way. But obviously, it was M&M's designed yeah, yeah, one yeah, specifically, yeah, 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 yeah. one of eight pairs. Yeah. So it's super rare. Um. That's one of them. Another one is the Air... Ooh. You know what? I have to say, the Air Max 360 90 PlayStation. I don't even know. Oh, the PlayStation ones that are worth like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's dumb. I, yeah, I, don't, I get that. I don't think they were publicly released yeah, either. I think there's a friends and family thing, isn't it? Yeah, just samples. Yeah. But the, the worst thing is that I see people, people have them. Yeah, and I'm just them. thinking... My size is somewhere in the world, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's not beat down too much. No, I hear that. But, yeah. And then um, the third one? Third one... Mm, that I don't have... I do have a hit list of, like... There's probably, like, a, I don't know, like, 60 pairs or something mm. on there, but... Um, Just give me a third and round this off. Okay, uh, I'd say the... Ooh, the Underground Railroad uh, Black History Month Air Max 90s. 
You're really into your air like Maxes, isn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah. any any kind of sneakerhead I know is tends to be Jordan or Dunk seem to be the way. But for you, that's actually like, and I don't use the term like you, a yeah. connoisseur of, of flipping trainers yeah. because this shows real, real love. Yeah. Would it's, you it's, say Air Maxes are your ultimate Yeah, silhouette? that's, 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 that's for me the, I guess it's, it probably has a lot to do with when I was born. Mm. Because if I was born, like, if I was like one of the Gen Zers, I'd, I'd, I'd probably be hopping on the trend of Jordans and yeah. Dunks and whatever's popping. But, yeah, that for like when I was growing up, the whole grime culture and everything, Air Maxes, the bubble, the bubble always had the allure. You know, the bubbles were important. To, to be fair, my important. older brother had the Nike Air One Eighties, but back in the day, okay, bro, yeah, 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 I'll never forget had that big chunky bubble. Yeah, bro. yeah, that's and another pair I got recently out. because I could never afford it. Was okay, the Reebok Pump, bro. Oh, a, okay, fair enough. A lot enough. of the olders had them mm -mm. and just that uh, pumping it up. Yeah, and I, thought, yeah. I could never <laughs> afford them. Bro. Yeah. You best believe I bought a couple of them just Fair to enough. just calm my younger self yeah, down yeah, and say, yeah. listen, bro, we made it in the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what is the best trainer of all time in regards to shape? Oh, in regards to shape? Yeah. For me, again, I like the Air Max 90. I like his shape. The 90, yeah? Yeah. No, not the Recraft. The Recraft. Oh, but what they... the, the 90, yeah. Yeah. In general. Not like a 95. No. Pot, because part of paper was a kick game talking about 95. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard him. I heard him. Like... Uh, yeah, RV tagged me in it. Um, I, I think I, I might have to take him up on that challenge because I, I don't. Oh, swear! I, I don't. I don't think he's. Oh, you can challenge pot of paper, yeah. This he, might be. He's the... talking 95s are his thing though. Uh, Ni might... 95s only. I, I, I hear it, and I, I've got I've got like 82 pairs of 95s. Fuck off. So the, this is the thing. I, I'm. This might be the one time I can beat a rapper in a clash. So you're challenging Potter Paper? Yeah, I, but he was saying bring a whole collection. I, I think that's a bit of a myth. I, five pairs, five pairs, and I, I say we, we do the clash. Hey, and... Potter, it's on. It's on, you know, yeah. five pairs. How many pairs do you have? It's, it's around, I think it might be like 435 or something like that. 430, 430 pairs? Yeah, around that. Ish. Okay, okay. I'm trying to cut down. Okay, you're really out of here then. Yeah. I thought I was out of here. I'm not out of here like that, bro. Um, <laughs> now, now I'm interested to see what pairs you do have. No, no, no. Because you were talking smoky. Right, so the, the smoke <laughs> talk is going to happen. Just, just to touch on, how much pressure was it to have a new pair of every show? Do you um, get what I'm saying? Because you make sneakers an aspect, yeah. which then I suppose puts pressure on you to... The, 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 pressure, the pressure was not even to get more pairs because I was already kind of deep in the addiction. By the time I started... Um, the the addiction for crep was there before. Right, so you already had chicken. lots of pairs. Yeah, not, it was more a case of I might as well show every pair I have, but I don't want to do like just digging through bare boxes and mm. oh hey, hey everyone look at this pair this pair is blah. I don't think that's as interesting as I turn up with a decent fit. Right, and you get to see my collection through the content. Right, so I, I was thinking more of kind of distilling. The crepes into so into you the already had crepes than... for for the show. That, yeah, that's I, what I'm trying to get at because yeah, it was yeah. a big aspect of your show. The, yeah, the kind of crepes. So just the, I just didn't know if there was a pressure for you to be like, right, oh, I'm filming nah. next week. I better get a. No, no, no. The thing is, I think by the time I was on like episode five, I, I probably had like, well, even at episode one, I think I might have had ten pairs already. Right. By the time it got to like episode five or six. I was probably I think I was on like 50 already but how are you funding these pairs then um, in the beginning JSA job seekers allowance to those what JSA was funding it yeah, yeah. Come to be on. honest it, it should have been funding stuff like food and travel because I remember there was one point where I had no peas and I was just walking everywhere right so like if I'm going to link my brethren <laughs> in central it's a five mile bop so it's all for the love of trainers, you know? The, the reason why I had to take the five mile bop is because I spent all my peas on right. trainers. Okay. Like, I remember it specifically one time, like, I got, I think it, I was saying, like, all right, cool, let me cut down on the crepe and then. And eat some food for once. Exactly. Job Seekers Allowance came through, I think it was like 52 pounds. Mm. I jump on eBay, I see the Nike Air Max 95 North London. I'm like, I'm here in North London. The North London's here. It's not Miami, but it's North London. Yeah, I, I, I have to cop. It was £50, copped it. Um, yeah, and then I was like, yeah, boom. So for the next, I think, two weeks, I'm on foot. 
So you're literally yeah. sacrificing everything just for your love of trainers. Yeah. It, it again, I, I call it more of an addiction. It was obviously it there's like love there, but it yeah, it was yeah. 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 And and just what what do you think of like prices and the way they've gone up and then dropped and it's become like, like a stock market and resellers and yeah. that. How do you feel about that? Because you seem like someone who loves yeah. you love trainers. I could I could see it coming and I kinda as much as I hate it, it is what it is. You can't escape it. Mm. Like once once it started it, it was yeah, it was a problem. You could never go back. Do you sell trainers as well? Surely um, you would. Yeah, uh, well, not not really. Like so, some pairs, I don't want. I'll give to my brethren. He will list it on eBay or whatever, and whenever it sells, is whenever it sells type of thing. But yeah. I'm not like actively like. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, we we were talking on the DMs, right? And yeah. we came up with this idea of a clash of crepes, yeah. which is very interesting. Yeah. And mm. he was like, it would be a great, it would be a great idea. You you love trainers, I love trainers. So we decided to do. Uh, mm. A little clash. You've bought three trainers. I know yeah. nothing about. Yeah. I've got three. I did warn you. I'm coming. Listen, I'm trained from the Wudan Mountains, bro. This okay. guy called okay. Ify, yeah. <laughs> Ify, yeah. Where from Wudan, Ify, all from right. Gansil, yeah. The sneaker god, Master Yoda himself, all has right. taught me. You get me? Is that he, fair enough? He took me to the mountains, bro. I, I hear you I'm saying. I'm telling you, bro. Boy. Man, ha- man has been educated in this game, bro. So, okay. All right. Who wants to go first, guys? Um, Should I go first? You could go first. But you know what? I'd say... Just just, just to make it interesting, for extra points, you have to say what the other person has. Yeah, I don't know if I... I, I, I might not get this, because you... Oh, are, oh, you're no, not, no, you're, no, oh, you're you not are about that. Max guy. I'm a Jordan oh, okay, guy. fair enough. I'm All a right, dunk cool. guy. All right, cool, cool, so, cool. Do you get me? Fair enough, and, fair enough. I'm not be. I've got a feeling you. Everyone's gonna know what I've got. You get what I'm saying? Ah, oh, then it's one of them ones. Then, oh, really? But Are you you were talking about no, you had no, rare no, stuff. No, no, you no. said I've it was got rare. rare stuff, bro. Trust it's me. It's rare, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll put it out there. Right, you get cool. what I'm saying, yeah? And we'll let the audience decide, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, And then we'll do it on foot as well, yeah? Ah, right, yeah. Is that cool? So yeah, that's yeah, bless. All right, I'm. I'm gonna go first then. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna start off light, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm starting off light. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. You, you. This is the funny thing. He did say in the DMs he's not going to bring the deals. Uh, but I did. But. <laughs> but what? Huh? I had to go into you got Volte scared. and they were there. And I thought, do you know what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what? Funnily enough, I think. I think. Because the, the problem is, you know, are we going by hype? Or no, we... the, the, I agree. I agree. And do you know but, what? But, but I'm no, not no, going to no. say mine's better, yours better. We'll let the audience decide. Right, and cool. and it w- I think it will be split because there will be people on hype being like, right, okay, cool. The problem is the hype, the hype kind of, it, it overdoes everything. I'm, I'm not going to say it's even that. In reality... And you're talking the, about limited pairs. There's a number in here, a limited number, <laughs> yeah? You see it? Yeah, you're talking about limited, okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll say the number. I know. 2,728 out yeah. of yeah. 5,000. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Limited. But it's rated though, isn't it? It's not like... It's, it's ra- people rate it highly, but I, I don't know, Do man. Do you rate it? You don't rate it? Are, it's it's Are tired. you a Jordan guy? Generally, I'd say the lows were better. I like the lows better. Okay, you lost the... me there. I hate lows, but go on. Fair enough. But, um... I'm not. I'm not really a Jordan guy, but again, it's like it's it's clean, but okay. it's also lazy. Yeah. On the yours part. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I get that. But the hype is there anyway. Yeah. That's Wait, a... hold on. Let me see. Worn. Where did you get your pair from? Selfridges, bro. Don't do not try it. Okay. You could never, bro. Don't no, no. I'm, I'm just. And I would never come to a clash with that, guys. Okay. Look at the bags, bro. All right, look, cool, cool, cool. Look at the Dior, look up, bro. Look at the paper, right, cool. guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just checking. Look at the. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. D- don't. <laughs> That's no. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just wondering. Just no. All right, cool. Anyway, right, go on. Can I put that there, cameraman? <laughs> He's gonna pull out some obscurity. By the way, you come on the train with this, you know. You're a madman, you know. Yeah, it's well. I don't think people would know what most of these things are. Um, I've got myself the Nike Air Max One Hyperfuse. Right. They're really, they're really light, aren't they? Yeah. Look at the Dubray. The, the Dubray. That's a Dubray. Okay. 
Do you understand what's going on? But no. this is Nike ID, though. <laughs> Look at the Dubre. What do you mean the Dubre? You, you, you have know to what the Dubre is? No, I don't know what the okay, Dubre cool. is. It's, it's a little gold bit there. Yeah, okay. People, 24 karat gold. What, on, the, on that bit, yeah? Yeah, look at that one. It might start to make sense. No, no, check that, Dubre. What do you see? Okay, Arsenal. Okay, 125 pairs for the 125th anniversary of the club. But but is this a Nike ID thing, though? Because I'm confused. There's 100, it's, it no. says Nike ID on it, like, like to say anyone could go and make these. You couldn't. It was released. I, I guess they made it right. through Nike ID. But it was an Arsenal pair, 125 okay, pairs I don't know released. If the camera can see that. That's cold. I respect that. Are you an Arsenal fan? I'll take of it. course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're in Tottenham. You're not yeah. Arsenal team. No. Listen, <laughs> half, it's a it's a well known fact for people who live in Tottenham. Half of Tottenham supports Arsenal. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. How much were these at retail? Um, retail. I'm not sure. How I wouldn't much be worth now. Now, the the thing is, if you had ten bags, you might not find a pair. Really? If you had a hundred bags, you might not find a pair. No, but that. th that's the thing. That's when we speak of rarity. Again, one hundred and twenty-five pairs. You got five thousand. You know, yeah, that's rare. Yeah, but you know, there's levels to the rarity. Yeah, I get that. There's also levels to the price, but I get that. It's true. And I respect it. I do respect it. I respect it, bro. That, that's why for me, some pairs are that they're, they're worth. Like, what the the world might say. That is, well, it's definitely worth more. What would you rather have, folks? That's round one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, what would you rather have? All right, cool. I, I, I respect it. The truth is, listen, Arsenal fans, Yeah. these are hard to find. Yeah. So if you can find them, grab them. Okay. That is going to be around everywhere. You can find it anywhere. Don't worry about that. Bro. I'm just saying. Right. We're speaking on rarities. Right. So you're Air Max One guy, yeah? <sighs> um, Not necessarily Air Max Ones. I do have like, uh, maybe like 30 pairs or something, but... <laughs> Okay, well then you uh, may be able to. Uh, what, shall, okay. Shall I move it? There? Is that out the way? Brownstone Brew Reef. Blue oh. Reef Dark Oak. Okay. I'm not sure what pair this is. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. You know what these are? Yeah, of course. The the, the Para Amsterdam. Correct. Pairs. Correct. It's, 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 it's a good shout. I didn't expect you to have something like this. Man, hit him with the curveball. All right, fair enough. Yeah, there's not Clean. a single one on StockX available. That's fair enough. The thing is... Another size, I think someone wants like 17 grand or some something ridiculous, bro. Is this your pair? This is, yeah, it's my pair. Is this your size? This is my size, yeah. And they right. realise you, you were my size. Yeah. Fair so enough. So what are you saying? Man can talk. You, you can, you can. DS as well. Right? Yeah. I hear it. You know, if, if, if it did have the embroidery, it would be a different level. Okay. But I hear it. Yeah. General release. Are we respecting it? That's yeah, a they, general that, release, it's, bro. It's, it's, 2005, it's, it's, you know. I, like, I hear don't, you. don't try it, bro. <laughs> 2005, bro. I, I, I hear Dead you. Dead stock. Like, I can lick the bottom like Fat Joe in this it's, bitch, bro. All right, I hear you, I hear you. It's a serious pair. It's, it's a, a serious, serious pair. pair, yeah? It's a serious pair. Okay, we curveball you. We curveball right. you. I'll, I'll go to my second pair. Come on. And Come for on. people at home, if you recognise this bag, then you know what I have inside. Do you recognise this bag? I do not. Okay, so... I'm he... not much of an Air Max. You get up, I'll That's be honest, I'll keep it 100 with you, bro. For those who know, obviously, you know. Um, but we'll save that to the end. Right now, could you take a guess what's in here? Well, I wouldn't know, but the bag is... What is that, velvet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is kind of a yeah, suede yeah, yeah. type material. But people, this what's in the bag is not where you get the bag from. I'm just using the bag. But this oh, okay. is the rarest pair I think I have today. Okay, so you're going for the big guns in round two, yeah? Yeah. Because you saw the power. You tell me. You were talking okay. about 180s earlier. Oh, Chat to me. Okay. Dirty stank, yeah? No way. What is this, bro? Is this some dizzy rock? Oh, inside has got all the train stations and that. Can we see this, bro? Dizzy rascal, yeah? Hyper strikes, they call them. Dizzy Ross, what is this an official release? Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at the date. Where's the date, bro? You lost me. Okay, it's inside. I think. Okay, down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 05. Yeah. Wow, this is the same. The this 25th. is the same year as these, though. Interesting, though, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. So what? So what? What was this? A Dizzy Rascal and what? 
Um, I think it might have. I'm not sure if this was for a release or something, like in terms of like a music release yeah. in conjunction with it. But again, this is the rare repair. People have probably seen the burgundy one. This one I got in my size. Um, 180s though, come on. Yeah, exactly. Shout out the Raskets, new albums out as well. I'm trying uh -huh. to get him on the show, bro. Get back to the emails, bro. But yeah, um, I think I've, today's the 24th, right? Yeah. Tomorrow they have their anniversary. I've never seen these, so hats off to you, bro. Yeah, I hats. think there's rumour to be 48 pairs or something. So then how did you get these? I bought them. What shop? No, I, I had to do a lot of hunting. I found it and I copped it. How much did it cost you? Or is it, um, can we not go there? Inside is train stations and it's like dirty stank records like the poo like it's, it's, oh yeah he pulled them out you know he pulled them out fam yeah that's cold that's serious cold. business that's cold so we got okay that this is a good battle you know this is a good <laughs> but for me the battle was barely a battle oh come on bro <laughs> don't do that <laughs> oh, alright alright cool yeah so it's, it's a good battle it's a good right, battle go but on. I'm just saying in terms of rarity and yeah. whatnot, if you're from London Dizzy Rascal Pudding Mill Lane, Bromley by, but I respect it. I do respect it, bro. These these must be worth a pretty penny. All right, third round, you you may as well start because I'll start. All right, I've cool. started twice in it. So cause. as I mentioned, this is a special bag because this. Oh, you're going. This is how the pair comes. It comes in a like this type of bag. Mm. Reason being, this pair was for it's all wrapped up. You know. Yeah, it is wrapped up. <laughs> now, if you look here. MMXX. Yeah. 2020. Olympics. Okay. So this is an Olympic PE, which only the Olympics. Player exclusive, babe. Damn oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's sick. Tokyo. Tokyo Olympics. Oh, do you know what, bruv? Look at the wedge in the middle, the, the Air Max wedge, bruv. They don't do that for any pair. Man's got the Olympic rings at the bottom. Mm hmm. Are these fresh? Yeah. Dead stock. Clearly, you can see. Man said, clearly. Yeah, these are cold, bro. Yeah, if you're not an Olympian, you did not have access to. Oh, them. so these are these are for the play, uh, uh, Olympians only. How did you get these, bro? Listen, these these must be worth some money. Yeah, they're, they're, they're worth as much as you decide. Because again, if you have a pair, you have a pair. Nobody else has a pair. Would you sell these? I don't want no, them. I'm just curious. No, no, no. Would no. you sell any any of these pairs? No. So I I did end up selling some older pairs mm. of um something i realized over the years is that the money is not worth what you're selling what you in mean? a sense if you have something rare it's not worth selling it ever but it's like you can always make money various different ways if you sell a pair like if i sold this this pair is from again 2005 yeah, and, uh, you'll never see that again if you sell that nah and again brand new condition so to find a pair from 05, if, if I said, like, if I put a hundred grand bounty on it, this might be the only pair left. That's true. If I put a million pair back... But at the same time, you've owned it, you've had it now. So, yeah. so, so do you not feel like I've, I've, no, had it now. I've been there, done no, it, I've had it? If, if I don't have it, I don't have it anymore. Would you wear them? Yeah, I'm going to. You're going to? Again, occasions. Yeah, it's got to be the right occasion. But what, what kind of occasion would that be? What, like a Dizzy Rascal thing? Episode. Come on. It makes sense. Hey, Raskit, where are you, bro? Well, bro at the moment. Here. If I ever get Raskit <laughs> here, I want you to come in as a guest, bro, and say, here you go, brother. Would you make him sign them or not? Yeah, he, he, he did sign another pair that I had time ago, yeah. but I let go of that pair. Okay. Because it wasn't my size anyway. Okay. Would you ever wear these? Those are not my size, so I can't read. I, I kind of can. Is it eight? No, nah, six. Okay. Mm. Bag. Banging, banging, and I but, love yeah. that like player Olympics cold with the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. I wonder if uh, Potter Papers got these. Potter, you got that, these. You know, I can't lie. That's what I was thinking. Like as soon as he said, and I thought I have this, and you got a lot more ninety fives. Yeah, so if Potter I've, I've wants it. But if, if if I was gonna do top five, I'll bring these as well just to make just, sure just, I secure like, the win. Just, just, just to because make sure I, I don't Tokyo. know what he has, but. Bad. I'm pretty sure what I Bad have is, is, is serious. I will give as you well. the distinct pleasure of opening these. Oh, yeah. I be I be because you may never oh, know. Oh, okay. There All you right. go. Fair enough. All right. e easy to. Red Octobers. All right. Fair. I guess they speak for themselves. Everyone knows what they are. So. 
DS baby. Yeah, I see it. I see Some it. Some ridiculous money's worth now. I don't know. It's true. The world's gone loopy. I'm, I'm, hearing, <coughs> I'm hearing 25 grand and all that. Bro. It's true. But again, I think it's only been in the past couple of years where things have gone mad like that. Yeah. Because I say <coughs> even 2018, 2019, it wasn't even that mad. Yeah. Because I remember there was like 95s. 95s for time. Obviously, originally they were 110. So they had the name 110s. But sorry, up until... Sorry to interrupt. Oh, okay. But I, fair enough. I didn't know they came with a bag. They come with a bag. Nike Sportswear. <coughs> All right, cool. I don't even know what that is. <coughs> it's not in my throat. It's an Illuminati a... triangle, brother. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it looks like Horus or something. Yeah. But yeah, just add to... Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, 2019, pairs were still <coughs> 120 retail. Mental, innit? Just in 2019. <coughs> Mental. Since then, now, 95s, I'm seeing them drop and they're like 180. These are not going anywhere in price, but up. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's true, yeah. I'm talking 20 grand, 25 grand. It's true. This has been an amazing clash. Yeah. I respect it. For a great enough. competitor. Yeah. So we got these and these. These and these. Oh, we got to do the on, the on feet still. Yeah, true. These. And these after ones are bad. Yeah. These after ones are bad. Yeah. I have to respect it. I'm never going to sell the gold debris, but the fact it is 24 carat gold, that I think it might be plated. It might be gold plated, but still. Just, Serious. You get me? These have to be like here, innit? Cause are they in the way of the camera? Okay. On feet. On feet. What All you right. got? I just went for um, Fear of yeah. God uh, shoot rounds. Okay. Sutton Cash, you get me? Yeah. Nike, first Cash. ones. Yeah, it's nice. You know, worn Tiny. heavily. Yeah. You know what I mean? I Just, hear you. You know, something, something. Yeah, shout out Jerry Lorenzo. Come on. On foot, I got the Maharishi. Um, again, rumoured one of 100 pairs, because they were meant to do like a full collaboration, a full collection, drop it entirely. That didn't end up happening. So we have the Maha Olive, as they're called. <laughs> And you're wearing them, you know? Yeah. I rate that. They're nice, bro. They They're are. very They're nice. Too. So what one we saying? Here you go. Comment section. We'll leave it to you. I can't take these off. They take forever, bro. Fair enough. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. this I know, lace I know. system yeah. is a myth, bro. Yeah, I remember hearing about it. It is an absolute myth. Yeah, I so, never yeah. got any of the fear of gods in the end, but it. I did hear it was a hassle. Do you know what? It's an interesting battle. I yeah. actually... I wouldn't be mad at anyone voting anywhere. You get what I'm saying? I hear you. Rather than going, that's a clean sweep. It's not. Yeah. Because you have definitely got some some pairs that yeah. I've never seen. Yeah. And do you know what? Some pairs, I've never seen any of them. Truth I'm, is that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. I did say... <laughs> yeah. But I'd be surprised if you if you had that, seen them. That shows some vast knowledge yeah. in the game, in the sneaker game. Yeah, I'm so, about this life, people. Man said I'm about this life. We haven't even started chicken yet, bruv, yeah? <sighs> Wait, what time is it, actually? I do, I do, you I do forgot, what? I do need to cut at a certain point. What time? Uh... <clears throat> we still got time. I need to, I need to be at somewhere by like, 3.30 so I, I'd say if I cut at 3 I should be blessed okay okay. well let's just keep yeah, it moving yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to order some chicken and you to oh <sighs> nah it's, it's alright most, most chicken places are I swear no but, but there's like no 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 but there's <laughs> 7 Kings Dixie round here is notorious bro okay. the people from the ends would be they want to see that episode bro alright fair enough so I was going to order you a quick burger bro have you got time for that um, Can I order yeah. it and see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Because so, I'd, I'd say I've got like 20 minutes left. So Seven Kings Dixie, right, mm. is notorious. It's now turned into a Chester's, which is not the greatest. Oh, but, okay. But can I please order it, bro? Because yeah. I, I would need the connoisseur man yeah. himself to tell me. I'm thinking if I've done the episode before. You haven't, bro. No? You might have done a Chester's. But nah, but I think it wouldn't have been. How recently did it turn into Chester's? Couple years, okay. Because I, I did do a Dixie around Barkinside. No, no, no that's Barkinside. I know that one. Okay. Right, what, tell me what you want, bro. For just 
Oh just, my days! Yeah, go on. No, the price is just mad. It's mad, but but for the love of the, you get me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's um, mad isn't it, when you order it. Ah, uh, what do you get? Burger, chicken, what, wings? Yeah, I'll I'll see if they have. Uh, it's they mental, have... isn't it? The prices. Oh my you days! Philip Burger, they have strip. But let me just get a. Fi- I'll get a Philip Burger and then three wings. Yeah, go on in. Yeah. Go on, um, add it, add it, add it, add it. You know what I mean? Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, what? two pounds to make it a mil. Raw. Well, just do it, just do it. All right, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> just just please, because I'll just, you um, get me. We have to make this happen, bro. Strawberry Mirinda, at least they got that. Come on. That's a good shot. Man is the connoisseur, bro. We have to represent the ends. Seven Kings Dixie's a staple around here, yeah? It's now a Chester's. I don't know if it's Chester's is keeping up the, mm. you get me? So there's only one or one way to find out, bro. Do they have wings? I don't see wings. They've got to have wings. Scroll How up. can they not have wings, bub? I think you can get like a, a, a box that's got everything in it. That's true. I yeah, think yeah, I see yeah, that, yeah. bro. Come on, man. Yeah, th- I think I did see it at the top. But well, it was like eleven pounds, and I was thinking it's fine. Me... Well, this one, oh, one pounds. piece chicken, three wings, fillet burger, one dip. Yeah. 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 That's Mini it. mega meal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what drink? Marinda. Man yeah, has to have the marinda. And then choice of dip, bro. Uh, we just get barbecue. Yeah. Uh, get. Curry salt. I don't know what Mexican salt is. I don't know what they're oh, trying no, with that. Oh no, it's just uh, yeah. But I'll, are we good? Yeah, you that's, that's less. It. Yeah, you we don't need the original burger, do we? No. Mega meal, yeah. Yeah, ten Boom. pound. Ten pound, you know. Holy shit, bro. Dips. That's you want some extra dips? No, no, no. It, uh, come with wings, isn't it? Yeah, come with wings. All right, cool. Order and pay, bro. Fuck this, bro. Done. Okay, that's that. <coughs> right. So can we talk about um, the chicken experience? Mm. So you you saw a gap in the market with this chicken stuff. Yeah. You decided to just go out and film it. Mm. Yeah. Um, how did it do? First of all, um, at first it it was slow, but it was it was doing it was doing bits in a sense of like it was getting around by word of mouth. Right. So my brethren would tell their brethren and whatnot, and it was getting about. I think the first episode was I guess I didn't really track it too much because I was my, my videographer was Sorry. It, it was kind of it all depended on like how much he could film right and if he was busy all the time which he mostly was because he was working I don't think I was working when it started right um, how did you find him the video guy no nah, I just knew him from time right okay yeah he was into that type, type of stuff yeah um, it's funny actually because the first day we actually decided to film it wasn't necessarily planned because I remember the whole idea was in my brain for time and then I was thinking it would be jokes if kind of like um, proper restaurant reviewers and whatnot I turn up looking formal kind of thing so I remember on Facebook, uh, one of my friends said, um, oh, who's on doing a photo shoot? And I was like, I'm going to come, let's go to a chicken shop and I'll wear a suit. Yeah. And he was like, all right, cool. That sounds sick. And in the back of my head, I was thinking I'll get him to just film it anyway. And however it turns out is how it turns out. But I was going to make the episode that day. And then my other friend came and he was the one who actually filmed it. So the suit was a conscious choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Just to look presentable and um, more it's, it's not presentable, but it was it was kind of purposeful juxtaposition. Please elaborate on that. Um, was... <laughs> effectively, because the idea initially came because it's funny. I said this in another um, another podcast actually, that the exact same thing. But don't if, worry about them, bro. Yeah, <laughs> we don't care about them. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know who it was. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out Max. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's basically. Um, I remember thinking like people always go to restaurants and they always have to wear at the time I didn't know that you know certain restaurants you're not allowed to walk in with mm. shorts and a t-shirt right because I was just thinking why do you have to wear something to, to eat. eat yeah that, now I understand that they don't want anybody in there who looks like they're just <laughs> yeah in there yeah, but, this is a, thing. But, but this is a chicken shop though right? exactly exactly but that's my thinking was I thought that they wore stuff to try and look posh for the restaurant right. as opposed to you can't get entry unless you look that way mm. type of thing so I was thinking okay instead of trying to look posh for a restaurant let me look posh for a chicken shop mm-hmm. it looks jokes as well because it people, does look jokes. people don't go to chicken shops yeah. wearing shirt and tie but again there's a lot of 
thinking going on in this. Yeah, planning. But it, it was all it all kind of like fell into place, mm. kind of thing. Because it wasn't like I decided one day I'm definitely doing this. I'm gonna yeah. do that. I'm gonna do that. But it's like so you just tried it out. Yeah, and I was just thinking like, what could be most entertaining mm -hmm. type of thing? Because the actual review of the food would be the part where I guess it's. Uh, what would I call it? Journalistic or, yeah. or you know, uh, informal. Yeah. Informal. Yeah. Informative. Informative. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I was thinking, okay, if it's informative, there's a reason for people to come back because yeah. you know there's there's mm. a service being provided yeah, here. There's something they're learning, but also it needs to be entertaining. So I'm thinking, how can I maximize the entertainment? Because yeah. I know I'm going to be on point with the. Yeah, how yeah. informative it's going to be or how yeah. educational or whatever you call it so yeah. um yeah that's what i was just thinking i could do bare other stuff in between and around it to make it more interesting and that's where the idea of wearing a shirt and tie came in right so you so you do the first few shows they're yeah. not a great success are they they're, um, just, they're all right they're bubbling at, at the time I, I it was a great success to me yeah of course not locally yeah, yeah because it's like i'm thinking my circle might be i always kind of had a small circle but i'm thinking my circle's like 10 people kind mm. of thing uh, fair enough i know other people but for it to go and do more than that and i think at this point it was getting like hundreds of views yeah and i was like oh okay it got 200 views i don't know 200 people i chat to regular like that so, so this you're is grateful doing... yeah and that's a great thing for people as well because you have to start somewhere a lot of people yeah. think they just want the the big ten thousand views you know what i mean yeah if, if it starts there if you get 200 views that's that's love yeah, yeah, that's 200 yeah. people that you didn't know yeah exactly and if 200 people tell 10 people each then yeah, I don't know the maths on that, but is it just two hundred times ten, or is it? Yeah, yeah, it's two thousand, really? I think. Don't put me on the spot. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we get the general idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so then you carry on doing it basically, yeah, just and then, for the the kind of love of it. You're having fun filming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then at what point does it just blow up? Um, so a guy that I knew as well from uh years ago, he saw it. He said, "This is sick. Um, it'll be sick if." like this could be bigger and I was like yeah the funny thing is these times I had planned to do a big Christmas episode right where I link up with like a lot of my brethren how episode 17 looked was kind of how I was thinking I would do episode 7 right okay yeah, yeah. and episode 7 in my mind was going to be the one to blow up right. because I was planning it's going to be a big mm. episode and this is going to do bits or it's going to do numbers but when I dropped episode 6 I think a couple of days later, um, sorry, what's that? No, 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 he's just showing me the food. Huh? I'll open it. The food's on the way, that's sorry. Right, just cool. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, okay, so yeah. Episode seven, sorry. Yeah, so, but episode six dropped, um, I think it was the 6th of December, and it was doing, I think in the first, in the first day or so, it had already done, I think it was already on like 300 mm. and I was thinking right this is sick because those are the numbers you're getting prior yeah, just yeah literally but because the thing is I was thinking like episode one was on like 150 yeah episode views. two was on like 220 or something mm. so for after one day for episode six to be on 300 I'm like all right cool this is moving but then the guy that I knew I'm pretty sure he had links in different companies and he knew people in marketing and he obviously knew and understood marketing as well because he knew how to use Reddit. Right. And he said, all right, I'm going to make this blow up. And I was like, all right, cool, sick. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but yeah. he knew how to use Reddit. So he used a clickbait title of, I'm pretty sure that that link is still out there and it's right. still moving, which is why people go and watch that episode the most still. Mm. But um, he said like, schoolboy in suit and trainers reviews chicken shops around London. So it, on it like was, a blog post type thing, Reddit is, is that yeah yeah, right. yeah. so it, it it's pretty clickbaity and I think people are intrigued enough by the title mm. to think let me just see what's going on here. So they clicked and it was levels, and because it was levels, they watched it. They was shared the production it, the same about, as it's always been. Yeah, so just, just pretty a bit much. Elevated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like obviously the editing style is different between uh yeah. Between videographers or well editors, yeah. But um, it's it's always kind of been the same operation, really. And then it just blows up. Is are we talking an overnight thing here? 
pretty much because everyone who saw it said this is sick and they shared it right so that's literally all that happened so you wake up to it was 300 views and you you uh, wake up to what um what are we talking the funny thing is as well actually when was it i think it was that might have been the same day no it, it must have been a night or something because i think i got fired from jd I used to work in JD. Yeah. That's you know, handy, isn't it, for actual yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, th this is the thing. I, my plan was to, to go there, get some Yeezys and flip them and then quit. Get the stuff. That, 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 yeah, literally, that was, that was the plan. Just yeah. get the crep and quit. Yeah. Because they put me in a basement in, in the in the stock room. I was dead down there. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, okay. I think it was... I don't think it was an overnight thing. Mm. It, it did blow up overnight as well, continuously, night after night. Mm. But I think it might have been the daytime where he said, all right, cool, I'm going to put this on Reddit and then tell some people. I think he knew someone at like Huffington Post or something like mm -hmm. that. So he, he was telling people around in, in different companies and stuff. And then. Um, so, how was the feeling then when you just woke up and it's like, what? Some madness? Well, I, I was. It was more a case of I was on the train. I think I was coming back from like a church thing or something mm. with my brethren. We got on the train and then when I got off, my phone was just spazzing. Spazzing. Yeah, like it was, it, I always had it on like vibrate instead of like ringtones, but it was just, just bare vibrations. And just to be clear, <laughs> how old are you here? Um, at you, that point, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I was 24. Was that 23? I think okay, I was 23. 23, but you looked like you was 14, 15. Yeah, still. Yeah. And yeah. obviously it made sense. So it's, it's just popping off. Yeah, yeah, it's popping off. It, it didn't stop popping off. The, the problem is because I had notifications on for everything, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I didn't, that, I didn't yeah. expect. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like if someone leaves a comment, it's like, all right, cool, let me jump on and respond to the comment. At this point, there was like thousands you of comments. Flood, yeah, so... First thing I had to do was turn off all the notifications because yeah, it was mad. So what did you do from there then? You just keep um, it moving. Kind of. It, it took like a couple of days of like calibration, but at the same time, I think one of the, I guess something I did wrong was I didn't, I didn't in a in a weird way I didn't necessarily have the right support because instead of getting support to help me with something I kind of just offloaded it to somebody else meaning like what so like let's say boom there's 200 emails some of right. them are business and whatnot instead of me the truth is I could go through 200 emails in a day you still have the time though do you I did have the time I wasn't even working I just got fired right, so I had right. plenty of time okay. at <laughs> but, least you're honest about it you yeah yeah me? yeah at least he's honest yeah I had plenty of time but it's just I was overwhelmed and I was thinking somebody just take this mm. kind of thing and because of that a lot of stuff I could have it slipped through you to an extent but I think there's things I could have learned if I had just composed myself and went through things but this is all I remember, new to you though isn't it it's true at the same time I remember um on Instagram, I think my old phone, because it was like a Windows phone, it didn't even have like Instagram DMs. Right. So DMs had backed up from, I don't know how long, but yeah, it was obviously popping. There was business and stuff in there, but there was also a lot of spam. Right. It's hard to filter through. Yeah. So I saw there was 99 plus messages and I thought, delete all. Is that what you did? Yeah, this is the problem. This is what oh I'm talking about. Oh my God. <laughs> just, just I didn't even leave them there in case. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's true, but in my head, wow. I'm thinking... it's Because I knew there's it, there's not just 99. There's, there's There could be thousands. You just, you just did it. And is that just the overwhelmingness of it all? Yeah, j just... It, it was it was, j it was stupid and entirely. And is this regular messages then that are coming every like, day, uh, I guess? No, this was, I think, the next day right. or something. And you just and blanked them all? Yeah, because, that, well... It, yeah, it was just stupid. But I was just thinking, I just need peace of mind. And instead of me, I don't know, because I I go through all my emails, I can't leave my inbox full. I'm Can like I, that, though. I need to get rid of them, bro. I, exactly. I actually know what you what, And, what and that's you mean. why I couldn't just leave it there. Yeah. And e even if I read some or whatever, because I went through and it's like, I right, spam, delete that one, spam, delete yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. And I started scrolling, scrolling, it just got long. scrolling. And I'm like how much is spam how much is is worth something yeah i just deleted all of it and i was like at uh, least now i can see clearly yeah literally it was okay. a bad idea but you yeah, live and you learn, yeah it? it happened okay so you carry on the filming 
Yeah. Each episode appears to be more successful as, as the next. Was there pressure then to just maintain or was you happy um, to just do it? The, the thing is, I always wanted to do a lot more because it's funny. I remember it might have been like a couple, like maybe three months before I was chatting to my videographer and I was saying like, this could be, this could be big. Like this could be mad, but like, would you be willing to like go ham for like five years mm. to see if it blows up eventually? Mm. Effectively, he, he was like, no, because obviously he doesn't make any money from it. Like neither right. of us made money from it at the right. time. But right. I was thinking it could be, it could be a big deal. That obviously came and blew up a lot further than we thought it would. Because yeah. I was thinking, you know, 10,000 subs, that's a big, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, I think it literally got that overnight. I think overnight it was, it was like 200,000. Mental. Yeah. So, and, and the thing is like, again, I was thinking at the end of the road, it'll get to a point where like maybe Link Up TV or SBTV or something will say, oh, right, okay, you do this show is sick. They might pick up the show and yeah. say like, listen, we can pay you like 200 pounds to come and do each episode or-, or but Are you not making platform. money from the hits though? At this point, that for, for 100 views, you don't get a penny. No, but I'm talking about when you're starting to turn and the views are starting to- Oh, in- oh yeah, 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 100%, yeah. yeah. That, but by that point, all the goals, I'm just saying the goals and stuff I had before yeah, 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 in yeah. terms of like going on link up or something and being maybe a presenter there for something, but- um, or SBTV or even Grand Report. I didn't know if Grand Report had like a proper production budget or yeah. th- any that of them. I was just lordy running around. <laughs> Le- legit, you know? legit. <laughs> yeah. But um, so, yeah, I think it's funny as well. I remember at that point, I think at one point the channel was further, like I think it was close to GRM or it was more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you was definitely, I think at the time, I at think that the time, most popular yeah, show. yeah. By by far, yeah. everyone was talking about it. it was unique. It was great. Mm. No one had even thought about that. Are are you, as far as you're aware, the first person to like use chicken shops as kind of no. a, a, a hub of something central when you're filming? No, nah, because uh, Amelia I, yeah, Amelia chicken shop date was, yeah. was after you. No, nah, she was before. Oh really? Because when when I didn't but, know that. Yeah, basically when I started She's been around for a time. Well when I started, I think by this point she had done the Jammer episode. I think gets Fuse ODG as okay, well. So she was really grinding, you know, from early. The thing is, I remember when I wanted when I started my channel, I wanted to make sure I wasn't like copying someone by accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously I, I didn't see anyone doing it, but mm. I didn't want to like start it and then it turns out someone's doing the same thing somewhere. Mm, mm. So I was looking around for like chicken content and there wasn't really anything but apart from her. hers. Okay. So I saw she was doing her thing, but hers had nothing to do with the food. It was just yeah, they're just sitting there. Family. You're right. Yeah, go All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, so I guess she's the closest thing okay. to that, but okay. yeah, she just does interviews basically. And then, and then the hot ones guys are way 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 after in it. You know the American dude. I do, I do know, but I don't think I checked. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't think I cared okay, yeah, because yeah. they're over they're there over anyway. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just making sure no one in the UK is doing it anyway. But yeah, even still, Hot Ones is still like it's an interview with Hot Wings. Yeah. Of it's course. not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm doing. So you found your niche. You're doing a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then it does appear to be some type of hiatus or something. There was bare hiatuses. There was. It, initially, it's the same as always like because if you watch the first episode the next episode might have been like I think six months later there was always bare hiatuses it was just down to is the camera guy free right so can he film so you're relying on the same cam- camera guy throughout yeah basically until episode 16 right so yeah from episode 1 till episode 6 we weren't making any money right episode 6 blew up we were making money Right. So, off, off what the YouTube yeah right. so because of that it was like now he's more incentivized because he can make more money from that than the job he was doing yeah. that we do that full time yeah. but then I guess because he wanted to invest so much in making every episode better than the last episode right um, it took him a Longer while to make 
Yeah, to an extent. So sometimes well, it, I would have thought six months ages to make a show, but oh, oh no, yeah, back in the day when it's maybe harder to. to, to no, no, to it's not even that. I, I, I think it was just. I'm, I'm. To be honest, I don't know what was going on. It might have been like he, he did a little bit today and then he left right. it and forgot about it right. for time. But yeah. after episode six, I think episode seven we dropped maybe like the next week type of thing, and then episode eight we dropped, and then we were doing it weekly. But I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what was going on on his end, but it was getting to a f- point where I think, to be fair, there was one point where it, it could it could be also maybe his laptop or what he was editing. Laptop on. issues. I, I don't know. Maybe Upgrade. it was great processing right. speeds or yeah. like the the internet or yeah. I'm not sure what it was, but like sometimes it'll take like a week or so to edit. At the quickest, I think he managed to edit after like a couple days. Was that frustrating for you or was you calm with it? it? The thing is, I was calm with it. I I won't say I was frustrated because I know it's not me doing the editing. Mm. So I can't complain however long it takes. But for him, I imagine at one point it would have got... It probably was overwhelming because for him it's round the clock. As soon as he finishes the edit, I'm ready to shoot. And then we shoot and then he's editing. I'm, I'm still ready to shoot. But he is getting paid. Yeah, yeah, hundred. Okay. At that point, we were doing a fifty-fifty split. Okay, yeah. Fair so, enough. um, yeah, but I guess for him, we we were doing that for a while. But I, yeah, I, I, I can't even. I can't say exactly because he never told me exactly what it was. But okay. I do remember eventually he he ended up getting another job somewhere because I think where he ended up working there was obviously more benefits than just. Yeah, shooting and editing for me, and he couldn't manage the the two then. Yeah, exactly. He couldn't. Yeah, manage nah, two. because the 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 workload of doing this, and because it was like he was a full time editor somewhere, so he went and did that, and there I think there would have been less workload, and he has a whole editing team. It's mad and interesting because the scope for you is to go massive, bigger than any I would have thought any editing job that you can. You yeah, know what I mean, this mm. is like. If you're doing 50-50, this is this is could be good ownership for the long run. Yeah, yeah. So I, I do find that a bit peculiar that he would not prioritize that. I don't know, mm-hmm. it? obviously, it's because con- it's big. You're bubbly. Everyone knows about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the biggest thing, bro. Mm. So surely that would be where you put your chips in. But all right, he's not here to defend himself. Yeah. Cool. So then <laughs> it comes to a point where I don't know. There's there's a gap that does he leave then? Yeah. So he basically leaves and then he leaves while you're at your peak. Pretty, pretty much, much. <laughs> which is mental bro like yeah. what he just goes I'm done he, was nah, there an he, argument or something I, I guess there kind of was but it was about something else kind of separate what is it about money or no nah, it wasn't even about money Um, but I, I'm not sure if it was an argument it was just kind of a because uh, by this point my brother was managing me and right, then, so you've got a manager now, your brother's managing you, and um, hopefully yeah. he's going through the emails now and not yeah. going delete or delete or delete. <laughs> no, 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 he definitely wasn't deleting everything. Right, but, right, right. Um, I can't say there was even an argument, but there was a, there was a point where he was annoyed, um, my editor, he was annoyed with something, what? and it wasn't that deep. What was bro, it? For, for me, it, it was, I think it was someone's phone number or something. But, what um, do you mean someone's phone number? It was... Uh, like it's a contact a girl. person Are we no no not nice girls, it's, it's, nah, it Please definitely not. wasn't that okay. she, she could have been a female I don't know right, but okay. it, it so wasn't that there was, a, there was a contact there yeah there was a contact I think um, my brother was meant to send him the contact I don't think he did it at the time until later on or something and who was the contact was it, was it some uh, business thing yeah what was it yeah listen Just, it, it's not it's not important really it is important <laughs> okay, it, it, okay it's, it was, it's, it was it's, someone it's so trivial so, okay. it doesn't even matter okay but he but wanted that, a number your brother didn't send it because he was probably busy he he thought there's something more sinister now, you know what Mixed, me, me bringing mixed. this up makes it seem like it's something deep. It might not have it's even not. been that deep. Okay, it could have just been. Yeah, but the, something's the drawing in in his head. If it's the if it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? There, yeah. there must be something prior. That, true. Okay. I'm do not sure what perhaps, there was prior. Do you think perhaps he may have been jealous that the limelight is on you? It's nah, your show. No, nah, because he he never wanted to be the guy in front of the camera. Okay, okay. So it's like, would it be he didn't have as much control, or now that your brother's managing you? No, nah, he he always had full control. He 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 would tell me, go and do what you're doing, type of thing. Is a he, lot of the time, I would he, try and bring is he him older. In. 
He sounds like an older guy. No. No, okay, cool. cool no, nah, cool. I think we're we're born in the same year. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah, if okay. he's older or actually younger. I can't remember. Okay. But um yeah, basically uh yeah, it it it's not I'm not sure exactly because right. he never told me directly what the problem was, but he would be telling me it's not a limelight thing either. Because there's like times where I will get opportunities to go and do a shoot somewhere and I'm like do you want to come and do this shoot? I can ask them for extra cash and bring you right, in. So you're bringing him, offering him, yeah. But he was like, no, no, it's cool. Do what you're doing. Okay. I'll do what I'm doing. So something's happened. We don't, we, we can't I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. So he just says to you straight, I'm, I'm done. No, there was never, I'm, I'm done kind of thing. There was just kind of a, there, was, there just was prolonging there was... the fact that there were the next episodes not coming and you're waiting maybe because it was a long hiatus, wasn't it? True. Yeah. So I think between episode 15 and 16, I think that was after, Okay, I think episode 14 was um, the one with Amelia. Yep. And then episode 15, I think, was the one with Asap Bari. Right, so let's talk about Amelia quickly. How did that happen? Because she's doing her thing, it's popping off. I think I might have shouted her. Okay, that's nice that she uh, acknowledged because she's got a choice. You're, you're either competition or you're either endorsing and she chose the endorsement yeah route, I, which... I don't i don't think there's there there, there is no competition no, but on the surface but uh, people might think a third eyes might think oh chicken chicken Do you know yeah what I mean? but i guess the idea made too much sense because it was a valentine's day episode yeah i, I so saw it, it yesterday just to just yeah, yeah. re familiarize <laughs> yeah I, I think it, i think it made too much sense for it to not be seen as this is a good idea yeah but but there, there are some people that would not maybe endorse. Yeah. They would hate and think you are competition. That's fair enough. Do you understand? Yeah. So, so hats off to Amelia. She thought she endorsed it and she got the three yeah. million hits from it. Yeah. <laughs> the three million hits. I hope she half them peas with you, bro. No, no, no. She, she did her video. I did my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Course, so, like, Tommy joking. Okay, yeah. so, so the videos are not. There's a, there's a wedge between you and the editor. We don't, we can't pinpoint yeah, it. Yeah, it's I think... becoming more and more apparent. So then you, I suppose I've got a choice. No, the, the, in reality, I don't think anything was really apparent to anybody at that point until... Well, are you not having a conversation with like that, bro? If it's been six months or whatever it is, there's no video. Are we, um, are, are we moving? No, nah, because, okay, basically, by the time when he eventually said, oh, yeah, he's doing a job somewhere else. Yeah. That's kind of all it was. And I was like, all right, fair enough. And then I tried to shout other people I knew to film other stuff and whatnot. And what, what? episodes dropped so episode 17 was different people there was a there was a significant production difference yeah difference yeah because th they were using i feel like they overproduced it but right. in there like obviously they want to do the best so they're bringing the best equipment their equipment was a lot more i think i'm not sure if he had a red camera or it was well, a, a, a allegro or that's i can't Ari even remember Alexa, yeah yeah that's Ari the Alexa, one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i can't remember the, Man, the names exactly there, yeah you get me? yeah <laughs> <laughs> so but it was that type of but thing. the show was but the post-production was where it was at not necessarily yeah. the quality yeah 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 and the, there was a difference a substantial yeah. difference so much so it was apparent yeah you understand yeah so how did you take the feedback because the feedback i'm guessing was not as positive um because i saw it and i felt like this is it's too mad like it's too mad but you were under pressure to put out an episode yeah and and i think even in terms of like the editing process because i didn't have to tell um the original guy what his name's alicia uh, alicia for short, but I didn't have to tell Lish what to do really. He, he knew, he knew the vibe. Exactly. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. But with this one, I had to like tell my brethren, oh, yeah. like edit this, switch up that. Yeah. Ret -er -ter. Um, when's the food coming? It's, we've ordered it, bruv. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is peak. I know, don't worry, but we need to talk this out, but because we're here now, bro. Right, we can't cool. just walk out of this interview, yeah, bro. Like yeah. Lish and just walk, bro. Please don't do I, it, bro. I, I need to tell my brethren. Please, quickly. please I'm tell be him, bro. Because yeah, we're in the, man is in the heart of conversation, and man's gonna do a Lish and go, yeah, bro. Uh, man, man's gone, <laughs> uh, you know, cause bless, bless, bro. No. <laughs> please, bro. And no. you were two hours late, cause. So okay. come on. Well, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, but please, oh, man. please. Damn. Um, hold on, sorry. Yeah, no, go on, go on, go on. Where, where, where is the food? The pin's there as well, yeah? The driver is stuck, same place now. Five minutes. Okay. Only but, ten minutes. But, Damn. but you've got the pin, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's just there, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The side door's open, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. I hope you, you know, when you cross the A12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see him right there. Mm, surely he's on the back, bro. I'm messaging him already on that. What area do, do you have to go to? Um, I need to be Cambridge Heath. Where the fuck is that? 
Oh, Hackney. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Hackney. Is it Hackney? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. I thought you were going to yeah, yeah. Cambridge, I thought Ra. Oh, no, no, no. Not country, fam. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no. saying High Point, bro. <laughs> yeah, please, bro. If we can get this done. Yeah. Obviously, we're in the heart of discussion. Man's just going to moonwalk out here with Arsenal Crips. <laughs> and be like, yeah, brother. These are cold, though. This yeah, is, yeah, is, very. This is, this is. Very. This is something special. I'm super still. gassed. I got them. This is this this is something special. One eighties as well. I was talking one eighties. Yeah, man, that's that's why. Now. Yeah, I love that, bro. I love that. Well, this is a photo, you know. This is a photo and a half. Yeah, I it's true. That's what I was thinking. Because this is about what. 50 60 grand here bro you get me <laughs> the thing is a lot of these a lot of these are priceless yeah you, you can't find them yeah i know so like yeah, it's, if, true, it's true yeah and there's prices on these there's not a price on them though to, to be fair you, you, true you, you, that's you, true you, you can't find them yeah but I just not brand new for the culture we do it you yeah get me? but yeah. um right go on so mm. uh what was i saying yeah so the so the production is yeah significantly different right mm. Uh, and you can see it's apparent, yeah. right? I think at that point is when I kind of started cycling through different videographers. So episode 17 was... That was actually two people I knew. Episode 18, which was Morocco, that one was, I'd, I'd say, partially a failed project because the plan was... Because um, it dropped in October. The plan was to drop an episode every week of October um, so there was going to be four weeks and four episodes in four different sides of Africa wow. so I went to Morocco which is north mm. I went to Gambia which is down the other way west yeah. or east I, I don't know which yeah. one I can't remember and then went South Africa and then I went Kenya as wow. well yeah Kenya's is Kenya east or west I think I it's know. east. It's, yeah. I feel like it's east. But was that? But yeah. Were you buying off more more than you could chew? Excuse the pun. Because no, nah, no. Nah, it, it was it, the, the editor, the guy who was meant to do it. He said initially two weeks he'll get four episodes done because mm. we went to chicken shops in all four places. Yeah. So there was bare extra footage, but the chicken shop episode was the same as any chicken shop episode. We walk inside. Yeah, of course. We eat. Got to, rare, yeah. rare. So. Um, he said two weeks he'll get the four episodes done. I'm like that's blessed because we got plenty of time. In two weeks, he only managed to get one episode done. And then when like the deadline was there for the next episode, and I was thinking, I wanted it to drop on the same day mm. every week. In reality, I could have just left him to get round to it. But I think I, I, was, I, was, I was pretty annoyed because of how he oversold what he'd be able to do and he didn't deliver. So you rushed the project to get it out? Not really, because there was plenty of time to get it out. Mm. But it's like, he, it took two weeks for him to edit one. Was you under a lot of pressure at this, or was you just going with the I, flow? I guess Would so, you... because it's like, by that point... You, okay, you could see when episode 17 dropped, and mm. that's that's what I call the end of the season. Right. The first seasoning. Mm. Um, seasoning for seasonings. Come on. But <laughs> um, there was actually, in between though... Yeah, in between those... Um, so there was going to be a book deal but and for the book deal I was supposed to go and see like the 50 best or I'm not sure what it was going to be but it was meant to be the best chicken shops in, in the country so for that I went on a UK tour mm. and we filmed a bit in every place mm. if not filming sometimes just taking pictures so we went around the UK and did a whole tour it didn't end up getting out because again this was the same guy so you're getting filmed. let down by cameramen basically the first cameraman yeah. walk the others are I'm not really up to the challenge let, let's be honest yeah. but where did you find these other cameramen are they friends of friends or just yeah people I knew already so was that a bad call then could you maybe you could have gone down the professional route and I guess so but the problem is like because even in recent times I'd say as recent as last year I was looking for a new cameraman and, and sometimes camera people and editors and stuff shout me. The problem is because a lot of the time they're trying hard, it's like they will, it will, it will it's going to end up being overproduced. Right. They, because it's, me, it's meant to be kind of like a, you're kind of like a fly on the wall in a way. Like you're mm. just with me, we're mm. just going chicken shop. It's casual. That's what it is. But there's been a lot of times where 
because I think from episode 17 okay so the original cameraman came back for episode 21 and 22 but those took a long time to come out as well but even still um between episode seven, seven yeah so from 17 until 26 those were pretty much different people so I'd, I'd, I'd cycled through like 10 different no, cameramen. That's fine, that's so fine. You cycled through about 10 different cameramen. And, yeah. and, and the feedback is not as good as the previous ones, pretty much throughout, yeah? Kinda How's that ish. making no, you feel? It's, it's not even, the feedback had nothing to do with anything. Okay. It was more me, I'm dealing with this guy and it's like, are you, because even when the original guy came back, the time he took to drop episodes, it was just Are you just not paying these cameramen? They, they were so getting, paid. getting paid we, we agreed deadline. beforehand yeah, yeah. Just, and they're just not hitting deadline no but this, this is the thing sometimes the deadline wasn't the problem for some people it's like okay one person they might take too long yeah because it's not even about deadlines I don't I won't give you a deadline you tell me how long it takes you to film an episode right because I know I always have a week anyway are you paying them up front then no of course when not the job's no, finished? when yeah. it's done but this is the thing I, I will ask okay how long is your turnaround some of them say two days. I'm like, that's bless. Mm. I'll, but they're we'll not doing it in two days. Some of them don't do it in two days. Some of them, it takes five days when they said two days, which is a problem. This Others, is. they get it done in time, but it doesn't make sense. Like, so you've got to re-edit it, re-edit it. Exactly. And then the others, when we're shooting, they're kind of awkward. Obviously, I don't have rapport with anyone because yeah. I don't know them personally, but at the same time, so are you so still looking for a cameraman just now? Uptight. No, no. Now I think I got. You think you you, you think you solved yeah, the issue? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, this I, is like a yeah. five year issue. Pretty which much, is, which is a bit mad for me, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, bro, because the thing how is, how is that even possible? Yeah, but it's like I was going through loads of different people. Some of them, it's like they they overproduce, they over. They, there's, but there's, surely over is better than under. No, no, no. Because okay, and it. An example is when I did episode 19, that's the one I called it a cappella. Mm. I guess it's more of a. Yeah, I'll, I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah. like it, because there's no edits. But that episode, I think I was just fed up because I wanted to do an episode and I couldn't get anyone to do an episode. Yeah. So I just told my brother, I think it was on Christmas. Yeah, you it was said, Christmas. I'm just going to do one. I was like, could you just film me go to a chicken shop? You don't have to. No, you just just yeah. hold the camera and yeah. follow me and I'll direct you with everything we did that episode the episode done bits so from what I know and from what I've seen that's all you need to do mm. really and truly mm. it's not that in, difficult in, in terms of filming we can go and just film at a chicken shop yeah. and it's cash so why didn't you just carry on doing that then the plan was to do that I can't remember what came up other stuff came up um, was it a I think by that point maybe I had started like the the whole TV side of things kind of came into yeah, well, play. Well, do you know what you're going to talk about TV side and we're going to pause because food I've, I've food right, cool. here and it's warm. So let's put this down, right? Um, because I don't want to. The last yeah. thing I want to do, I do want to take photos of them crepes at some point. So yeah, I, I do want to take a photo quickly just for just so, for myself quickly. Yeah. So please don't um, uh, put them all away. I'll put these on the box. There'll be no grease on these, brother. <laughs> I can promise you that. Um, Right, this is this is Seven Kings Dixie, All right. which is now called Chester's. So I can't vouch for it, but back in the day, yeah, Seven Kings Dixie was the truth, the staple of the ends, bro. Mm. After a night out, if you didn't go Seven Kings Dixie, yeah, the night incomplete. You go, bro, bro, I could Jeez. give you some extra crepes to add in there, you know, bro. You no, really no, no, it's, busy, it's good. I, I just right here you go, sir. Yeah, uh, it's come from Uber, so it might not be as fresh, but you might want to yeah. put that aside, bro. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Chester, you owe me money, man. We, we got the connoisseur here. I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've been to a couple Chester's before, yeah, and they seem all right. All yours, all right, all yours. Man's getting the dip out ready. So what what type of things do you look for then? Obviously presentation's um, important out here. Yeah. I I won't go through the whole No no um, no, 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 no rigmarole. Yeah, the, the whole <laughs> we'll criteria. Save that for your show, innit? Guys? Yeah. Um but I guess obviously something uniform I'd say is like freshness in general. Um and yeah, freshness, flavours. Um, it's interesting. It's not looking too appealing. I'm on. 
You might have to zoom in on this cameraman, you know what I mean? Man went for the Perry Perry chip store. Yeah. All right. Seasoned chips are always better. Got wings and a piece. That's interesting. Yeah, I think, that, I, I think we just ordered a, a, a mishmash. Yeah. So what what does one draw for first? Chips, always. Always? Yeah, these are pretty floppy. Is, but is, I think it's because condensation. Condensation is in the bag. important. It's very true. The bag is wet. That is very yeah. true. With with the cold marinda, which is not a good look. That's I don't true. know why they put that in the bag together, but go on. It's true. Yeah, that probably accelerates the condensation when you deep it. Right. Um. So am I doing a review on this? Uh, yeah, that just my know your your full obviously what else are you gonna review? I guess so. The chips the papery salt is definitely masking it. And it's 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 leng. It's, it's, it's leng, it okay. But this is the thing. Seasoning does that full stop. Right. The There's mask. a reason why the British sailed seas everything and all of that and invaded places and all sorts. And took the seasoning. For seasonings. Yeah. It's important. Lick um, the seasoning. So yeah, chips. I'm not gonna give them official score, but okay, it's fine. You, it, they're good. They, they're on the higher end of the score. Score them in it. You might as well. They're here. No. I only give official scores on my channel. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, man's not letting off the <laughs> info, bro. Okay, but it's higher than a. It's good. Hold on. Is uh, five your highest? Yeah, f five just, is. Yeah. Just give me a rate. Okay, so it's higher than four. They're good chips. You can come here get peri peri chips. They're nice. Okay, okay. Oh, peri peri. Come on. Me. Representing the ends. Careful in case that uh, flops over onto your yeah. trainers. So just open it here first because right, I'm yeah, it was I'll in just... the bag, bro. You get me? Trainers must get full coverage and protection, bro. See? Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it, bro. Imagine that on the bucket. I, I wasn't going to open sway. it here. Yes, you was, bro. No. It was right there. Yeah, the reason why I put it there is just because I wanted to... Man, save the Tokyos, bro. It's not, even, it's, 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 it's not that deep. I was, I was just getting the tissue. Yeah. It's cool. Man, save the Tokyos. <laughs> Let that be known, bro. Right, go on. Sorry. No, you're good. The marinda's just standard, isn't it? It's got to be yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Um, wings. Right, wingage. Yeah, soggy again. Mm. Everything's kind of soggy. Yeah, but that's the condensation for you, isn't it? Mm. Bangs, isn't it? Not really. Oh, why not, bro? Talk to me. Just lacking spices. Yeah, but do, do you like really, really hot wings or just... Mm -mm. It's not necessarily about that. I'm, it's just in terms of like flavour. I notice how you're yamming it though. I'm yamming everything. <laughs> I'm Waste not, want not in it. That's true though, isn't it? Mm. Have you ever gone to a shop and just not and just not eating it? Yeah, there's been a couple where I didn't finish the meal. What's the worst ch chicken shop you've been to? I can't remember. I've been to too many. Oh too. really? Is there any that stick in your mind, like the worst, top? I, I can't remember the names. Okay, what about the best? Is there a best one, standout, or top three that you think, listen, um, like, I was overly surprised? Okay. I remember Tollworth. That's one of the first ones that... That's not even... I think it's the name of the area. I can't remember yeah. the name of the actual shop. Right. Um, but VP, shout out VP from um, 90s Baby Show. Right. He was my cameraman, yeah. and I think that was the second one we went to, episode right. twenty-seven, I believe. The chips were serious there. Yeah. Um, I think the, I'm pretty sure the wings and the burger was blessed as well. So, I I'm getting an indication that you're more you're more into chips than you are the the chicken. No, th there's there's only two wings left. Yeah. There's bare chips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you let me eat bare yeah, chips. On, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. I don't want to finish the wings and then just be sitting there. So what what makes a good what makes good chicken fried chicken? Um, breading has to be on point. The actual chicken itself has to be good quality. Uh, and then I guess that's it, really. It's just the breading, and obviously, it depends on how it's fried. But again, it's like th that kind of comes back to the breading good breading, good quality chicken. And then I guess, where is K? Where is KFC in all this? Where is the kernel when it comes to all this? Because you never hit a kernel, bro. Uh, and I, I, I'm not going to as long as they have a marketing budget 
I'm not turning up. Yeah, yeah, that makes <laughs> not sense. Not for free anyway. That makes sense. But kind of taste wise, where do you put a kind of KFC? I can't remember the last time I went there, honestly. Yeah. So this is just as good, basically. Touch stuff like this is. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it. I don't. I'm not sure where they are right now, but I wouldn't say. I know for a fact. I remember their chips have always been dead. Their new chips are deader than dead. I don't know what they're doing. Some wedge chip. I I don't know what they're doing, bro. But it's not it, cousin. It's not it. Yeah. All right. So the chips are decent. The wings mm. are not decent. So the chips are over a four. We're not giving official scores. Wings are under a un, under a four, under a three. Forget the numbers. The chips are good. Okay. The no. wings, they're passable. But they're not good. If if, if you're hungry, they're all right. Bear in mind, this is Seven Kings, Chester's, Dixie, the staple, you know. Certain feelings are going to get hurt here right now. You get me? But do you Sorry. know what? Because it's not Dixie no more, I don't care. You get me? Because if it was Dixie and he was talking smash, there would be issues. But it's not. You get me? <laughs> it's moved. They sold out to Chester's. You know what I'm saying? All right. How about the burger, bro? Right. Or is that later? I'll get into it now. Come on. Okay, so you look at it first, don't you? Yeah, assembly is... Assembly? It's important. It's important. Bear in mind, it's come from Uber Eats, like a, 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 you know what I mean. So it's probably just moving about, but even still, there, there's there's lettuce under the bun. That tells me they just kind of threw it in there pretty recklessly. I'm, I don't really like mayo, but they didn't give you an option. Oh, sorry, bro. I think we just no, no. There was definitely no option. You couldn't you couldn't change anything. Um. And there's no cheese in there. You got you got to have cheese in my. No, no, uh, no, no not for me. Not oh with, shit! Definitely not with chicken. No, no. Well, man's got to put cheese in anything right now, bro. Fair enough. Um, yeah. there's a problem with a bun. What is it? One side is nice and soft here. The other side is feeling a bit stale. Okay. In this section right here. Okay. A bit crispy. Nothing gets past this, brother. Yeah, burger's dead. Oh my god, the pain. <laughs> <laughs> is it dead very dry like biscuit I guess maybe I took a bite out of the, the, the stiff section yeah, yeah, so yeah yeah let's do the soft side man need that confirmation from the master at the same time taking the bread out of the equation the actual chicken itself is looking awfully dry on the inside yeah no moisture I'm just see. I can see the striations clearly the styrations bro so where do you get this language from bro it's just it's just because the articulation is very good. Do you know what I mean? And it's obviously... I say it developed more so when I got into college. And I had to do... Again. Homework. Well, coursework. Yeah. At this point, it wasn't... Because uh, obviously I was typing. Mm. For a lot of the coursework. I will just copy stuff. Copy paragraphs off the internet. Yeah, but you put in the work though, clearly. Synonyms. Synonyms. That's what it is. Right click the word. Synonyms. Choose the most interesting word. And, and the, that's, yeah, and the that's whole paragraph is... Yeah. So that's how I kind of extended most of my vocabulary. Okay. And I guess it just kind of stopped from there, really. Yeah. And in regards to like presenting and stuff, you seem to enjoy it. It seems to be something that you're pretty much got a knack for. Would you gain offers from other people to kind of host this XYZ didn't you host the Wolf show did you host the Grand Daily Wolves no no I think I did do did some hosting um, though I've seen I think it was the Mobos okay they're amazing I don't think I did a good job to be fair but well, what <laughs> did you host the whole awards or just, a, just a... no it was just one of the but still that's amazing I didn't really know what I was doing to be fair I was just kind of repeating and chatting but yeah um yeah what was the question Sorry. The, uh, yeah, I know. We're all over the place. Okay, let's just give this an initial thing first so we can end this. Yeah, but the but burger's Final dead. thoughts, Jerry Springer. Burger's dead. Chips are good. The wings are all right. Um, Mirinda will never do you wrong. So. Mirinda will wash down all your sins. How about Trust that chicken me. piece? Um, you wanna, it's true. You want to investigate? What is that? It's, it looks like it's a, a, thigh. a thigh. Yeah, it looks, it looks dead. I'm, I'm imagining it's going to be drier than the wings as well. You reckon? Man is gulping that Mirinda. It's 
This is why I don't even touch fries. I just get uh, wings. Is it not it? There's is 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 garbage. Man said it's garbage. <laughs> he still went for the second bite though. Mm, it's true. Why? No seasoning. None of that. None of that. It looks seasoned. They let the ends down. This is the thing. If you go to, I don't know. I've I've seen my mum just go, Tesco. Mm. And just put all purpose seasoning and just roast chicken and mm. it tastes it tastes proper. I don't know what they're doing for it to be this dead. It's crazy. Have you ever thought about opening up your own chicken shop or go down that route of catering yourself? Yeah, there's plans. Oh, um, there. Come on. What is it like a chicken shop? That would be that would be amazing. Yeah, there's there's been offers and in the end it didn't work out. But are we uh, still contemplating it? Should should the right offer arrive? Uh yeah definitely, but if the you, thing is, go on. I feel like I need to. I don't actually need to, but I'd like to. Kind of like you know how Thanos Thanos went and collected the Infinity Stones and done the mad thing. And done the mad thing. Yeah. Before I do the mad thing, I need to get out the country. I can't just have experience mainly from chicken shops in London and then open a chicken shop and think that it's going to be levels I need to get around more than the country more but than what the about continent. north and that you, you know, never got north and stuff like that I, I don't really get about anywhere but no. the plan is to get around the world experience more flavours and then bring it back to the chicken shop but putting your face on a chicken shop that's that that is risky business isn't it because then the standard everyone was going to expect the chick, the chicken this is the point. standards you know what I'm saying if if I do my job properly and I go to all the places I need to go to mm. collect all the data bring back the flavours to the ends I'll put my face on it because it's going to be Leng yeah. if, if it's not Leng for me I don't want to sell it of course so, that, that's your face that's your whole product exactly so I don't think I'll have any people are going to say it's dead they're going to be hating just for the sake of Hating clicks, yeah, yeah, and people do that, don't they? Mm-hmm. They do that, and when they do, you just have to let them do it. And... Okay, so overall, it's dead. You you uh, do not recommend Chester's in Seven Kings. The Perry Perry chips, yeah, on point. And there's more in the bag, but the chicken, it's no true. burger, no. True. I suppose only only if you're pissed and it's two in the morning. Yeah, maybe so. But again, if you're there physically, you can probably tell them put burger sauce and barbecue sauce in the burger. Yeah. Which would make it a lot nicer than... Yeah, but you can't polish a turd, can you? So it's like... What's that? I said, you can't polish a turd, can you? So if it's not good on the inside, it's not good on the inside, is it, bro? It's true, but you can can make it better. All right. So overall, your summary. A one word to describe this um, experience, this um, culinary experience that I've given you. It is missable. Yeah, missable is the word. Missable, keyword. Yeah. Um, I just see kick game on in the background. Have you ever thought about? Can we? Can we try? Yeah, and I, get think, you I on think here? I think I did speak to some people. Mm. Um, possibly, but again, um, it's it's. I don't know. I'm not sure what their plans are well, exactly. Let's, well, let's put it out in the uh, universe, man. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Um. But you are enjoying that, though, isn't it? Come on, don't I'm, lie. I'm not, I'm not enjoying Sometimes it. Sometimes it's uh, good to slum it, isn't it? I'm I'm hungry. I lie. And there's food here, so and I already started eating it. No one's gonna finish it. For real. You may as well, innit? I might as well. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so I'm just gonna carry on talking to you while she eat it. That's if cool. that's alright. So okay, so the cameraman, you've had a like a long hiatus trying to find the right cameraman. Mm. It's been up and down. Yeah. Um and then where are we now? Have we have we kind of managed to bridge that gap? Yeah, yeah, I found the right guy now. Yeah. But now as well, I realise I do need to do a lot more than what I have been doing previously. In regards to that kind of content. Yeah. And the so, amount of content. Exactly. So, Cause, because it is very sparse. Your Instagram is very sparse. Yeah, I, I don't even really use Instagram too tough. I, I might go on there and just look at crap. Mm. And, and that's basically it. But do you not understand the tools of that? Modern day, like we like the, what these tools can do for you, and kind the of is, keeping do, yourself apparent, so to speak. I do, but at the same time, I don't think 
I don't know for me to make the most of everything available to me I think I'd have to be slightly a different person from who I am meaning yeah you come across a bit laid back in regards to that that aspect yeah. of things like is that is that fair is that fair to say yeah because if I had 800,000 sub- subscribers on my YouTube channel, I am going ham like a motherfucker, bro. I want that retirement money. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, it's not that I don't want that retirement of money. Of course. But it's like, especially even with TikTok and that. Yeah. I remember seeing TikTok when it came out. I was thinking this is just for kids. Mm. Yeah, I thought the same. Stupid saw, dances. Yeah. I can't work with it. The thing is... I'm I'm starting to jump on it now. Four wing sprees, by the way, is is the TikTok because the connoisseur got taken by an imposter. What? As in what? The um uh, chicken connoisseur got taken. Not a chicken connoisseur, but the connoisseur. So why don't you just get the chicken connoisseur or the pink? No. The the names. Uh, the, I haven't been the chicken connoisseur since I think 2021. But these shows you're doing, the Pengus Munch ones. Yeah. What What's the difference between the Pengus Munch and the chicken connoisseur? The is Pengus Munch your... is a show. Yeah. I am the connoisseur. Exactly. So I dropped the chicken out of the connoisseur in 2021. Okay, why? Because the plan is to be more than just a chicken connoisseur. Oh, you thought you were just pigeonholing yourself. Yeah, and at the same time... But that's, people... that's kind of what made you who you are, no? Yeah, but if people say chicken connoisseur, they know it's me. Right. But having the connoisseur... Also, at the same time... It, typing out chicken connoisseur is long <laughs> yeah even spelling connoisseur is long bro and, and so, I still can't spell it bro that, that's the point a lot of people are saying concierge uh, <laughs> con- connoisseur people are making up Conversier. names yeah I'm, I'm, I've heard all kinds of things right so yeah because of that um, I thought it's, it's just better to abbreviate it a bit but also the plan was to do a lot more well connoisseuring of, of other kinds beyond chicken because I am I am more than a chicken connoisseur so, I'm a connoisseur of so what about the four wings then where did that name four wings please get that, from? that was the original name and so I've reverted back to it um, but four wings please is just yeah I, I walk in a chicken shop if I'm not sure I'll take four wings and I'll see where I go from there that's the name that's the name so the name isn't it's not too deep but it, obviously the chicken is but is there it hard involved. to rebrand and kind of get that name flowing when you know um, there's something else nah I'm just going to leave it as that and it's not going to change so from, from now on Four Wings Please on Instagram mm. Four Wings Please on TikTok everywhere else if you just type in the connoisseur it'll come up as well though so yeah um, is that fan not on? He's saying the fan was overheating. Uh, the, the camera oh, was okay, fair enough. Overheating. Is it still recording? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Four Wings, that's the new. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I won't necessarily say new, but. Side note, on TikTok, my name was taken, and I messaged the guy and said, bro, could it, would it be possible to have this name? And I was offering to pay him, and he said, I'm a big fan of yours, you can have it. Fair enough. Could you not try the thing? I'd. I'd, I'd uh, nah. Could I have? Yes. But could did I you? have been bothered no. to? Nah, because I remember somebody did something similar. I think it might have even been on uh, Instagram. They said, oh yeah, pay me a thousand pounds and I'll give you the connoisseur. Because they had the connoisseur on Instagram right, 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 right. whilst it was Pengus Munch. I think I changed it to Pengus Munch early. Yeah. I shouldn't have. I should have kept it as Four Wings, please. But well, at least now it's Four Wings, please, without an underscore. I think it was an underscore before. Right. So, but yeah. Um, they said, oh yeah, a thousand pounds. And I'm thinking, I'm not being held hostage. I, I, we do not negotiate with terrorists <laughs> over here. So um, yeah, I just couldn't be bothered. I thought, let me let me just do four wings, please. At the end of the day, if you go on my YouTube or wherever you find my links, I have a link tree, all the links are in there. Mm-hmm. So go to the link tree and you'll be directed to my page, wherever it is. So you don't need to go and do all the searching. But if you are going to search... See the four wings, please, or the connoisseur, and yeah. Um, speaking of just dropping out the chicken and then becoming the, the connoisseur, you had a show on TV where you was yeah. investigating other mm. products, cars. What is it? Cars, clothing. Yeah, it was, it was all kinds just of stuff. The, just like the finer things in life. Was that? Um, how did that come about? Because that what was that Channel Four. Yeah. So they. So just, it wasn't initially my idea. Man wants them chips, you know. 
Um, like that. I love that how you're finishing it off, bro. Yeah, I, I, I can't really leave stuff behind like that. Yeah. Um, so I think I spoke to someone um, at a production company. Yeah. Um, uh, it was initially, his name's Dwayne. I'm not sure if you know him. He's, uh, you know, NFTR? Not for the radio. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so him, his production company. Yeah. He said, oh, yeah, they could get me a TV show and whatnot. Right. And I was like, all right, cool. I think I was on autopilot for the whole thing and the whole experience until like halfway through when I realized it's not my TV show. It's their TV show, but I'm presenting it. Right. Your character in their world. Exactly. And so all the creative control I would like to have for my own TV show, I don't have. Right. Even when it comes down to the editing. Because I remember we did like a pilot and... Um, we realised it's too fast paced right there's too much going on there's not enough um, you're not I think they tried to make it kind of maximally entertaining and it was just overstimulating right and so if they slowed it down you'd get more of an idea or you'd be able to appreciate what is being reviewed more so Mm. so each item each whatever there would be more time of it but as it is now I'm, I'm not sure I can't remember the last time well I the funny thing is and I remember my manager telling them we should we need to be there for the editing process mm. so we can control how right, this thing right, is right, edited because right. we don't want it to look foolish it turned out looking mad it, like I'm pretty sure it was on purpose but Why? the same I don't know. I think they they kept on trying. I think they tried to make it more entertaining than it could have been or should have been. And it it ended up looking crazy. And the first time we saw it was the same week it was going out on TV. So there was no space to say change this. Why did you go to the editing process? They chose not to tell us when that was on purpose, I Um, assume. Obviously, on the surface, Mm. it looks like you have a lot of issues with production and camera. Mm. Are you hard to work with? I'm just gonna throw that out there. You don't appear to be, but I gotta ask the question. I'm, I'm I'm not sure how to answer that because I don't work with me. Okay. Just no. be, just being sensible. I, I I don't know. Yeah, but I'm, it's I'm like sensible. something's overproduced or it's not the way you want it. I I I've got a I I get the impression you have a distinct way something should look, and if it's not that way, um. Not the breaks really, come on because this is where like I said with the original editor I didn't tell him anything mm. he can be as creative as he wants yeah it just has to make sense if I'm eating chicken don't show b-roll of the chips yeah and if if, if you keep showing b-roll of the chips but when I'm eating the chicken yeah. or I'm eating the burger and I tell you and then you get angry you could say I'm difficult to work with right but to me if if it makes sense, let it make sense. If mm. it doesn't make sense, who's gonna say it? Yeah. Because otherwise, you're gonna end up with stuff like. You, you, have you seen the new Top Boy? Yeah. You seen the scene where man, <laughs> where the guy says, "Who's man gonna done?" No, I can't remember it. Go on. It is it, it, people at home. If you've seen, you know. But scenes what? like that, saying, "Who's man gonna done?" It's not the right. No. Who 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 approved of this? I don't know who wrote it. Who wrote it? Fair enough. They may have been ignorant of the correct grammatical usage of slang. Yeah. But everybody else was there. Everyone else was complicit. And now that is in the history book forever. What did you think of that last season? Again, it's it's I could I, it's kind of it reminds me of whoever wrote it. Maybe I assume they did their best. They tried to do whatever they could do. But a lot of it needed to be changed. But at the same time, I could tell it was rushed. I'm not sure... I think rushed is a key word I hear from a lot of people. I'm not sure if if necessarily the actual writing was rushed, but the problem solving of... We need everything to close. Yeah. Think of a way to make it make sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out, Out from nowhere... Somebody is just on hard food. I know, I know, it's a bit mental. Out from nowhere, uh, 
I yeah, yeah, just, just kill him. Just, just get him dead. <laughs> just kill him, bro. Just ki- he comes in one episode of the gangster. Yeah, just kill him, bro. Uh, yeah, exactly. Him out. Yeah, there, there's, yeah, there was. They didn't think well enough, or they. <clears throat> to me, it looks like your homework is due, and you you just have to pull an all nighter. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. this is the result. Yeah, uh, I totally get that. Yeah, before about acting, is, is that something? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um. I did have an acting role in um, Cheryl's story. Okay. Yeah, I was. I think I was in the second one. Come on. He was. I'm not sure if it was second or third. Yeah. But yeah, I was in that for a, for a brief scene. Come on. If you know where, you know where. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess I I would be up for it. I think to be fair, I should um, I should try and utilize. Um, my evident youth because. I I could I could I think I could play like a sick villain. Mm. I don't think I'd ever be cast for a villain, but I think the reason why I'd be good for one is because I'm obviously not a kid, yeah. but I look like a kid. Yeah. So I could be a sick undercover kid who's kid. not a kid. Yeah, I hear that. Kid. Yeah. I'm a kid who's not a kid. Yeah. I hear that. And then um, I saw uh, you put out an episode yesterday. Mm-hmm. Still, still got a loyal fan base. So hats off, yeah. hats off to the you know that that must feel amazing when you yeah. have these problems, these hiatuses, production issues. Mm. You still got people that rock with you all these years later. You know, yeah. I think you got like seventy thousand views in one day, which is unbelievable, bro. Like I would love to be in a place like that. Do you know what I'm saying? So that must feel good, but you can still drop in, you know, and I'll let you finish I just your bite. <laughs> no, it's cool. Um, yeah, I just need to film more. And I think I need to... I think put more focus on the second channel. Extracurricular connoisseur. So far, there's not really much extracurricular activities going on there, but the plan is to... Uh, do you, why do you open a second channel? A lot of people open two two channels. Why don't you just put it on one channel? Because you can break down your channel now. I hear it, we but... we had that it... issue. We thought, oh, we could do another channel and just play the like the, like the show, but in short, mm. I just, just put it on the same channel. No, okay, I hear that, but at the same time, I don't want to put... Because, okay, a good example, well, there was also a, a kind of a... a scheduling hiccup with Money Up. So when, when I did Money Up, which is another series um, where I'm just playing Money Up with some people... Mm. It's like turning the, 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 the gambling game into a game show, kind of. Mm. I do have other plans for it as well, which could be yeah. uh, could be serious. But um, basically, a lot of people, the audience who came for the Pengus Munch, overall, they don't want to see money up. Yes, they're, but... Because the thing is, that there was... I remember I did see quite a few comments. One particular that kind of made it all make sense where um, someone said, um, why are you throwing money at a wall? And then I was like, okay, this makes sense. I need a second channel. Because not everyone who's here, they, they, they're they not me. But you've got- Most eight- of them aren't me. Yeah. So they don't understand it. Right, but you've got 800,000 subscribers. If It's a perfect opportunity to- make them you and also whilst whilst you're filming the main show rather than having the pressure of filming the main show every week you could put in an extracurricular whatever you're calling it and and then help bridge that gap and then show people other aspects of your life because because they're tuned in i suppose to you that's why i make the second channel um and the point is um i just want different audiences for different things somebody like if they're here for chicken and I'd, I'd say if I'm doing other foods it's not as bad some of them do still complain when I'm doing other foods you can't make everyone happy bro I know I hear it but at the same time I think um, doing other foods is one thing and making my channel a food channel is it is what it is but I think it's better to have a second channel for all the extra stuff because it's a completely different lane. Do you think the chicken shop thing will come to an end? To be fair, there's like 10 years worth of content. 10 years is a long time for a show to air. X Factor don't even run for that long. It does, but do you know what I mean? Like I'm saying like these, these like, but that's the everything point. has its time in the limelight, so to speak. Yeah, but the, the, the question is, 
if I decide to ever stop it. Yeah. I can decide to never stop it and have it going for 50 years longer. So uh, how do you feel about that? Where um, where are you with that? I I've, I've barely I've, I've I've barely left the city. True. So oh oh there's no shortage of chicken shops. Believe that, bro. Yeah. So but but this is the thing. For the rest of the show, I need to leave the city. Then I need to leave the country. Then leave the continent. And then there's other continents to go to. There is indeed. And so there's all of that content Man, to do. We'll take you to Pakistan, bruv. The streets, cuz. Just make sure your belly is ready, rude boy. But I'm I, gut. I, I'm I'll take you to the bin, bruv. Are you all right? They'll, they will get the chicken in front of you, bruv. Cook that motherfucker right there and then, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I can necessarily get my belly ready for that type of thing. Um, I, 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 I can be mentally prepared, but I don't know how to prepare my belly. Yeah, yeah, you, you just kind of have to bro. jump in the deep end. Yeah, but um, real. yeah, there, there's all types of content uh, coming. Yeah. So, so, so we can safely way. say now, you, you, there's no more hiatuses. Yeah. I, I can't safely say that either. Okay. Again, it depends on the cameraman. Yeah. I do have a backup, kind of. I was gonna say, should you not have backups now and a backup for I the do, backup, but ready and it. waiting because it's it. your face it. that's suffering. The, the, it, it's true, but the problem is. One of them, it might take too long to get the edits done. The other one, he might be not as charismatic behind the camera. So it might be a bit awkward when we're filming. But the, Another one, there, there's, there's different problems with everyone. Well, why don't you do this then? Get the footage of one show, give that to other cameramen just mm. to see their work and see what they're capable of. You don't have to put it out and just see what they do with the footage. It's true. I have done that a couple of times and said... Here, do a, He's a, still a eating the chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go ahead. I've told some of them, yeah, you can do a test and, or oh, this could be a test. Here's a footage, get it edited, shout me. What I never tell them is a deadline. Mm. If someone's on it, they'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. If they're not on it and they take four, three, four weeks, they come back to me. Well, they don't come back at all after three, four weeks. And I say, yo, what's going on? They say, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, man, yeah. It's going to be problems. Because then if I give you deadlines, there'll be more excuses. I do feel like in this day and age, there's a lot more editors about. Yeah, true, there is. Than like 10 years ago. Yeah, my brethren was telling me to outsource it to like yeah, you, Philippines. You can and go on Fiverr. You can go on Fiverr website and outsource yeah, exactly. it immediately. And you can show them, I want it like these episodes. Trust I hear me, bro. It, but, uh, you should investigate it. And, That's build, true. and build That's yourself true. a fail safe like a safety net do you mm. get what I'm saying because it is this up and down and uh, I'm rooting for you to just keep it going man you're one of the pioneers it's bro true. yeah you, you, I've, I've never been on Fiverr so try it I'm not bro. sure how to tackle it but it's very easy you just put the job mm. up and say here's the job here's my old videos I want a video like this I'll send you the footage and they'll mm. charge you cheap as, it'll be cheap as well bro you understand these people are from countries like India, Pakistan, where they're not mm. really doing much. They'll take that job and they will get it done within a day, bro. But this is the thing, because it's so, it is so niche, I'm not sure if I just give them all the footage. And uh, even in terms of like some things I say, where there could be a cue for mm -hmm. some type of editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yesterday, where the, where, where, uh, the guy where you're filming the, uh, the shop owner and Hello Darkness. I yeah, see yeah, that. yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah again, I, I didn't uh, even like, need to tell my guy to yeah, do that. Yeah. He just edited it. I didn't shot. ask him for any edits. He just went and he yeah. done the whole thing. That's clever. But that's because he understands it. If mm. I give the footage of the shop to somebody else, is that going to be in there? Try, trial and error. That's what I'm saying. I guess so. It's true. Do you know it's what I mean? True. Because the aim of the game is consistency. And I feel true. like I would just like you to just be consistent with it you get what I'm saying yeah um, can, can I just touch on earlier you said you was coming from a church event how much how like how prevalent is, is God to you in, in church Um, if at all I'd say very prevalent I haven't been church consistently for a minute I guess since lockdown and then they closed down churches like no one was going then they opened it back up but I just kind of formed the habit of just sleeping all the time. Or e it's a, even. It's a you know good what? habit. I, I hear you. It's not even just a habit of sleeping, but it's like the Saturday night, so much boxing. I've been watching bare boxing as well. Like, yeah. especially in America. Like, if there's boxing in America, obviously you have to stay up later. And then UFC. So I'm just watching bare fights. It's like five o'clock. 
I fall asleep, I wake up, it's three o'clock now, mm. church is long gone. So I guess I just need to, yeah, just fix my, my sleeping patterns and whatnot. My sleeping patterns are pretty bad. Well, you yeah, you time. told me you was going to be here early, bruv. And yeah. Um, who, <laughs> who wins, Fury or uh, Usyk? Um, I'm not sure because... If you have to put your money in one. Um, I, the thing is, I don't know. I know Fury... I know Usyk, who technically, I would say, he, he technically lost against Dubois, but um, Usyk knows he's going to have to fight like he's never fought before. Because it, it is... Do or he, die. He's, he's not that much smaller, but it, it's kind of like a David and Goliath thing. Mm -hmm. Fury is Goliath. He should be winning and beating everyone because of his sheer size alone. The one time he came against somebody who could kind of match him in size... He crumbled. He ended up on the floor with Ngannou. So, and this is the thing. I think if Ngannou fights Fury again, he'll kill him. Okay, so who wins that of Fury and Usyk? Back oh, okay, to my sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, boy, I don't know because again, Fury knows. You gotta call it, bro. Everything's on the line. Um, we can't I'm, sit I'm, on the fence here. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I would say, I would say Usyk. Okay. Probably more so because I point want, or knockout. Uh. I'm not sure if he... Does he have the capacity to knock him out? Yeah, it does. I'm wondering. Because, so, again, he, that, that's what I'm saying. He will have to be a lot more aggressive. I don't know if he... So, so, so you're saying points? Points would say? It's more likely points than it would be a knockout. Okay, who wins, AJ or Ngannou? AJ. Knockout. That, see, that was a lot quicker, that answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I thought about that one knockout. already. Uh, I think someone's getting knocked out in that, in that fight. <laughs> there definitely should be. And I think, you know what, yeah, I think AJ at one point, he's going to realise, I, I can't... Old school I, AJ is going to have to come out. Yeah, because I think I think for a lot of people, he likes to outbox and whatnot. Mm. I think he's going to get hit with something and he's going to realise this, is, to this isn't a boxing match, it's life or death. Mm, yeah, come on. Fight or flight's going to kick in, he's going to swing and, and, and then, I don't think anyone's standing. Who's your, who's your favourite boxer of all time? Of all... I can't say of all time because uh, give there's me top three. Then give me, give me um, ones that spring to mind. That spring to mind, people mm. I like. Uh, I do like Bivol. Yeah, okay. Do like Bivol That's style. an interesting choice. Yeah, go um, on. Definitely, I have to say Ben Whitaker. Okay, you're going different. Yeah. Yeah, because funnily enough, I, I do remember Emmanuel Augustus, mm. and he was like a, a favorite in a sense, but because he was so. It was time ago, and I didn't really watch that many of his fights. Mm. Ben Whitaker's doing what he did, but Ben Whitaker's young, yeah. so he's gonna keep doing that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and at a high level, and knocking guys out as well. So, um, yeah, he's definitely uh, super entertaining. If you've never heard of him, watch the highlights. And he's been going viral recently. He's 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 levels. He was going mad, wasn't he? Bro? Yeah, yeah. Do you think he was doing too too much with the you, piss taking? You, you can never do too much piss taking. But the the the, the hit on the back of the, the, that 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 was one, muggy. I, cre I creased out loud. Yeah, but so you think Cold. you should carry on with that? Hundred percent. But what? But why? Why did the ref take a point off then? Because, because that didn't make no sense. No, no. You're, you're it, not allowed illegal hit. Yeah, but because of how he hit him, like you're not allowed to hit with, uh, mm. I think the front of the glove type of thing. Mm. So there's that, and then even like spinning around. It's jokes. Is is very entertaining to watch. He's rapping now, isn't he? I I feel like he could have been rapping before. Mm. Maybe it's only now we realise. But mm. I did see him the other day. It's funny though because I remember it was after the win, and I saw I saw it pop up, and I was thinking, who's this? This guy looks like Ben Whitaker and his name is Benzo. And then I clicked it. It was actually him. But do you think a boxer <laughs> should be doing things like that to to actually get noticed? It's part of the game now. I don't think he's doing that to no, get but noticed. I'm saying, no? No. He's I, doing I a think... lot, bruv. He was doing a lot, man. Oh, what? In the tune? No, I'm talking about just the ring bit, oh, just to go okay. viral oh, and just oh, get fighting. noticed. You get what I'm saying? I think it definitely works. Was... It definitely works as, you could call it a byproduct mm. of that. But it's... it's... I don't think if if that's not what you do, don't try and do it. Yeah, because the the problem he, is then he, is yeah, he, people want you to get knocked out after a while because you you show off so much. Yeah, it's the Prince Nassim effect. You get yeah, me? Yeah, I, I don't think Who, that's even a problem though. If people want to see you get knocked out, that means people are gonna there's gonna be more pay per view buys. Mm. May I don't know. Maybe that might 
go the other way and you know piracy might increase because mm. people are like yeah, yeah, i yeah. want this guy to get knocked out but I, because it's him i'm not buying the pay-per-view i'm gonna go and pirate mm. it that could be a problem in a sense but aside from that um more people watching mm. if you get more bums on seats you get more money so that there's never a it's, it's never a bad thing like that but um okay so them two um one other person who do i like i guess i guess I do like AJ. Yeah. 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 Fan favourite. FYI, Prince Nassim Hamid. Goat. Good boy. Goat. I never watched him. Brother. I, I did see some Goat. of his highlights and his jokes. Goat. What weight was he? What weight class was uh, he? He was light, man. He was real, real light. Or like, like, like super light? Or you oh. mean like Bantam weight kind of yeah, light? Yeah, yeah, feather. I don't know. Like, no, oh, fair enough. No, no, no. I'm, I don't know. He was light. He was light. Yeah, he was light. yeah, yeah. He yeah I could tell. He was, I thought he was small, but yeah. But just, just, just the charisma, bro, has been unmatched, yeah. bro. You can't come out dance like that. Come with come out with Puff Daddy on a, like a fucking magic carpet and then just do the business. You get me? Ben Whitaker's doing them type yeah, of no, things. Yeah, no, he's doing them type of things. Yeah, like, yeah. I know. I read it. I read and, it. And the thing is, it's so early as well. I think is he what ten fights in or something? Oh, it's early doors. Yeah. So it's like imagine that for the next five six years. Yeah, no. For the real. funny thing is, people are saying, "Ah, oh, he's not going to do that against someone like better." He definitely will, because mm. most of what he's doing is like it's either defensive stuff. Where in which case the other option is, I guess keep your hands up or take a hit to the face. Yeah. Aside from that, there was that UFC guy that was doing bare flips and that I can't remember. He was sick, bro. Who's that? I uh, was doing bare flips off the cage and all that, bro. But it's, flips off the cage. Yeah, bro. And he was like, jump. Oh, I'll show you at the end. Bro. All right, fair enough. Bad man, bro. Is it Matt Mastival or something? Matt Jorge? I don't know. It rings a bell. Yeah, Jorge Masvidal. I think it is him. Cold. I guess I didn't look into what Cold he's Cold with the flips, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flipping on, man. Um, so, yeah, Ben's rapping. Would you ever do a rap tune? Is rap something you're... You know what I mean? Um, he's still eating it, bro. He is making sure. Um, would I do a rap tune? I won't say... Is it not your niche? I won't say I'm violently against it or anything, but... I just I don't think I w- I'm, I, don't, I don't think I will. It's not necessarily my plans to. Mm. I can. And, um, and then who's your favorite top? We do like a thing here where we say if there was like a, a, a what what's the mountain with the faces? Mount Mount Rushmore. Like Rushmore. If there was a Mount Rushmore of UK artists, who would you put on there? What five are going on there? UK artists. Okay, rap, Mount Rushmore is four, but top five, yeah, fair enough. Well, I, I, I have said <laughs> yeah. that there was four and five. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm trying to get me on every little bit. <laughs> um, These are the British one, so the five's allowed. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, the planning permission's been gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the council. Um, so top five British artists. Mm-hmm. Is it who Should I think it... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For you, I'm saying. Who oh, my favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... My favorite. Yeah, who's a, who's t- top top five in the in the connoisseurs book? <laughs> okay, so if if we're going of all time, effectively, yeah. okay, so uh, I have to say Skepta. I have to say Gigs. Hollow. Um. It gets Problem. techy, it gets techy, yeah. then the more you go down that list. Because, you know, yeah, for grime know. and then for rap, it, it's easy to say who the top guys are, but Five it's like... Places, bro. The, the other three, I'm thinking... Because it's like, there's people like DWE who... Uh, a general, knew him general, to be exact, but... Mm-hmm. Um, Is DWE going in there? I'm I'm not sure because now I'm thinking, am I doing who's the best or who's Come my on, favorite or same thing in it that like, in your eyes isn't it? Ah, well, it's it's it's, it's not. Oh, right, because so I know there are some people Skepta, who are better. Skepta Hollow Man, let's go, let's go. Uh, um, JME. Yeah, I think he has too much charisma to not put in there. Mm-hmm. He's cold. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess it's for different things. And Blade Brown. Okay, the blade. Okay, yeah, interesting. Um, that's that that that's interesting one, and then one more. Guess I'll say Dave. Yeah. Yeah. 
And man had the dirty stank dizzy rascal trainers on the table and didn't call out the rat. I'm joking, I'm joking. Well, this this is the thing. You're saying who's the best and who's my favourite. And I'm thinking, let me put rappers and then grime MCs and... No, no, no. It's all cool. Right, I think we're pretty much... So we can look out for more content, more regular. Mm. Yes. You see, this is the thing. Is it going to be that? That is in the plan. Yeah, but there's a lot of doubting when you're saying that. You shouldn't be saying it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you more content, this is the more problem, consistency. Because I, I, it's I, almost, forgive me for saying, it's like you're not believing in your own, do you know what I'm saying? Like in your own no, promise. I, I Sometimes know. Sometimes you've got to tell the world, listen, this is what I'm going to do, bro. I've done that before and it has not happened right, many a time, right. which is why I'm hesitant okay. to put my foot down and say, you're getting this next week. Okay. Because, listen, what did I tell you yesterday? You told what me type? to wake up at 11 and you got here at 2. Yeah, you, you see? Zooming. You see? So for me to say, you're going to see... Listen, stuff... Listen, stay, stay subscribed. The connoisseur. Extracurricular connoisseur. Content will be on the way. That I can commit to can we can we commit to your intentions are always to put out product you're not you're yeah, not, not putting out product yeah, you yeah, are yeah. in this space yeah. you are yeah yeah I, I want to do a lot more than i am doing i don't quite have the bandwidth what do you mean by bandwidth well li literally like in terms of videographers and i have to vet the, the videographers okay as well, listen, and if you're some a videographer yeah, no, no, I've had enough. Mm. If you're a videographer, could you just put some edits together, a showroom, and send it to him, please? Yeah, please. Yeah, just, 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 just do it. Don't even listen to him. Mm. Just do it, so you can at least look at it. Yeah, there's, there's hundreds of episodes out there. You could take footage from there or another project entirely, bro. Because I'm tired of this narrative of videography. There's thousands out there, bro. Let's give them an opportunity. It, 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 Let's give them a voice. Well, you but th then again, then, then also, videographer. They say, listen, some people. Their prices vary. Yeah, we get that. And then other people, listen, turn around times. This is an times. opportunity for you, yeah? Don't charge then, too much because it ain't going to happen, yeah? We're on the road <laughs> out here, yeah? Yeah, we're hustling, yeah? So don't get brave. Yeah? You're up and coming. When you get your foot in the door. There's a lot of put variables. Put together. There are variables. But we're going to make this <laughs> equation work out, yeah? We're going to get the right answer, yeah? The solution is imminent. I've had enough. Fair yeah? enough. So please, could you get that going? Side note, we mm. talk about boxing. Would you ever get in the ring? Because there's a lot of celebrity boxing uh, stuff going on right yeah. now. I think I'd, I'd, I'd have to... I, I know my... Um, what do you call it? My cardio is garbage. Mm. I, I do remember doing a body spa for a minute and a half. And <laughs> after about 45 seconds... It's mental, isn't it? I was just, just blocking. I, I don't mind even getting hit. Mm. But it's like... Yeah, the energy expenditure. And, and, and I do have a, a problem with my... my the meniscus in my left knee so the meniscus I'm, of the patella right yeah yeah went so, there you know yeah i've i've, I've yeah I've, I've got a lot to sort out before i can jump in because yeah. the thing is i could jump in yeah. and maybe luckily get like a 30 second ko or something that but, would be ideal but you're open to it yeah 100 percent. but I, I i need to i know my cardio is garbage so yeah. i would want to get that on point first okay fair enough yeah all right well, that's it, bro. I think I think we've covered everything, bro. I want to say thank you for your time. I Come. appreciate it. Thank you for coming late and making me lose sleep. But it's all right. <laughs> it's but we fed you, bro. You get me? The uh, trainers are amazing. Hopefully, yeah. people can comment on that. Love and respect. And yeah, man, I really, I really hope you can keep this train moving, man. Yeah, it's, it's gonna keep on moving. I'm, I'm, I'm about. I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, something's gonna be happening. Factual. Love, bro. Safe, bro. Them ones. Yeah. We out.